Okay, great. Let's do some D&D. Uh, thank you all so much for coming. Welcome to Children of Erte, live at SDCC. We're so excited to have you. Um, this, you know, this has been an ongoing game on, uh, you know, on Demiplane for a, a while now, about a year and a half. We're at 52 episodes in, I think, per week, you know, weekly and games. And only like 12 days. And like, yes, we've, we've, they've 13. been on their quest days. for a little under two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the kind of game we're at. And uh, yeah, so we're excited to be here. We always start our adventures by uh, you know, passing it off to Adam, who, instead of telling us about sponsors, is going to give us some interesting announcements today. Yeah, so we've got a couple of pretty cool things. So at Demiplane, we are working on digital tools for a variety of role-playing games out there. We've got uh, some character tools out there for Pathfinder right now that are in beta. We've got Avatar Legends coming very fast very soon, um, you know, uh, look, come see us at Gen Con kind of thing, right? <laughs> um, but, uh, but uh, you know, everything going on with Avatar Legends, uh, Vampire the Masquerade is, um, you know, coming as well, but we have a 5e Nexus, Woo! so uh, 5e Nexus uh, is going to have the SRD content plus a variety of third-party content that um, you know, in a past life, I worked on some digital tools, and that third-party content could never get into it. Uh, this is an opportunity for third-party content to come into a single place. So if you like things like Tales of the Valiant from Kobo Press or uh, Ghostfire content, all of that is going to be on 5e Nexus. So we've got early access, which means the digital reader and game compendium is coming in early September. So uh, I can get you a real specific date, probably the 5th. Um, <laughs> but uh, early September, um, we're going to have early access open up for that. And we've got some other exciting announcements about content that are uh, going to come between now and then that are going to be there in early access. And, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, Deborah and I, when we started talking about what became Children of Erte initially was, you know, hey, it would be, uh, really cool to put something out there where people would be possibly excited to, you know, explore the world that we're creating. And so uh, we, uh, we thought that we might, uh, you know, provide possibly a way to do that. Yeah. Uh, over yeah. the next few months, uh, we're going to be collaborating on creating kind of a world guide, quick start adventure. If you wanted to write your own adventures in the world of Children of Erte and how to kind of you know, use the mechanics of 5e to create a world sort of like this and, and play within this space. Maybe some of the mysterious monsters that they've come across <laughs> and all of my <laughs> terrifying mechanics that go with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're very excited about it. Yeah, and so uh, this is going to be, uh, you know, uh, and again, we're going to see how this goes, but this is going to be a free supplement that you'll be able to check out um, you know, how you might run a, a game in something like what we're doing here with uh, Children of Verite. And if you've been following the show, you might know about The Veil. It's, uh, you know, this great kind of uh, springboard, uh, you know, well of many worlds kind of uh, place that, uh, that could be very interesting as a sidetrack in your own campaign or mm -hmm. even as a starter uh, for, for your campaigns out there. And, uh, you know, we're going to look into uh, one of the really interesting things about this game, and you'll see this today. So if this is your first time uh, watching one of these games, uh, welcome. Uh, and you probably came to see somebody up on this stage, uh, and that's great. Welcome. <laughs> um, and, uh, but, but if you have uh, and you're familiar with Dungeons & Dragons, uh, we are playing characters from our world, like a, or at least a world very similar to ours, uh, you know, very normal uh, you know, kind of the mundane existence that I, it's not mundane <laughs> for, for most of us, but because uh, we, we love things out there. But, um, but you know, normal world, and then you are sucked into this, uh, you know, fantastical place um, like the characters in the show have been. And so, you know, there's going to be a little bit of... Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it started with this idea that adventures should be tight enough and fun enough that even if you were playing as a human commoner, you could have a great time. Um, so the idea being that we had a bunch of supposedly human commoners um, who discover that they are a bit more than that. Yeah, and so you'll, you'll get a chance to check that out um, likely, uh, you know, sometime uh, next year, but, but we will, uh, we're, we're about to start some work on it, uh, <laughs> but we wanted to share 
uh, that, uh, that it's something that uh, we were going to uh, put out there into the world and we can't wait to hear about uh, some of the adventures that you might have out there in, in the world of this uh, Children of Arte show that we're creating. So, all right. Um, Without I think, further ado. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Uh, I am Adam Bradford. I'm the CDO at Jimmy Plain. And um, I stream Tuesday mornings uh, dev updates. So you can come and ask me anything and I get so many wonderful questions, <laughs> many of them that have nothing to do with what we're doing at Jimmy Plain, <laughs> um, about, you know, favorite dinosaurs is a very, very popular one, and right now it is the Ankylosaurus, um, so uh, if anybody's Creepy. wondering. Uh, today, I am going to be playing Silas Sorrell, your dimensionally displaced magical superfan. Is this thing on? Okay, great. Hi, I'm Hope Lavelle. And uh, you can follow me on all, all the socials at the Hope Lavelle. Um, I am a mocap, a motion capture performer by day, but at night I am a D and D enthusiast. <laughs> and tonight, today, and also at 10 a.m. in the morning. Yes, at 10 a.m. in the morning. So enthusiastic. <laughs> um, I will be playing Miss Robin Beckett. She is a an 80-year-old adventuring grandmother, <laughs> and she's she's here for it. So thank you. Yeah. Hey everyone, oops, my name is Alicia Marie. You can find me on all the socials at Alicia Marie Body. I am a professional costume artist and RPG performer. I love D&D, I love role playing, I love this crew. So I'm ready to have some fun tonight with you guys live. Today, I'll be playing Louisa Armstrong, Victoria Earl. Yes, she's still employed. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing the Harvard shirt and everything. I know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. I'm the content manager at Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms. You can find me on the socials as Obo Lauren, and you can find me here in this game playing Carolyn Nebula Stern, who is so excited to be doing anything with everything and everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Hi, I'm Gabe Hicks. You can find me at Gabe James Games. I am a cosplayer, voice actor, game designer, and performer. Uh, and today I am playing Gloria, a single mother of two. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, I'm Michelle and Bradley. Uh, you can find my socials at I am Chubby Bunny. Um, I am a uh, producer and host at Tabletop News, coming soon this fall, question mark. And uh, also an on camera uh, actor for uh, role playing games like Critical Role or uh, New York by Night and other fun things and Idol Champions. Um, uh, today I am playing Al, short for Althea. Um, I am the stoker of the train, the person who helps the engines run. I Googled a lot of things about <laughs> stokers. I didn't know what it is. She did. She has literally like a page of You're, the, you're the fireman. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm in my 70s. I'm married to the other Al on the train who's the engineer, um, Alberts. And uh, I'm here for a fun adventure and playing my, uh, and then trying to solve my Sudokus. <laughs> Hi everyone, and I'm Deborah Ann Wool. I'm your storyteller for this evening or morning. Uh, I'm very, <laughs> very excited to be here. Thank you all for coming out again. Um, so yeah, we are actually going to. Um, oh, I have to do my intro. I'm sorry. Everyone, settle in, get comfy and cozy, and get ready for the alternate episode, Thanks. alternate chapter, uh, prologue chapter of Children of Erte. So we are going to rewind all the way back to the beginning. Our characters have just gotten on this beautiful train adventure trip that they're going to be taking through the northern wilds. Um, this is the Northern Heritage Line. It is the Starlight Special. They are the only uh, five adventurers on this train. Um, as they have gone on and then the train has started running, they've discovered that one room, compartment A, is locked and cannot be opened. They have spent some time trying to figure this out before they have decided to have a little slumber party with charcuterie and all kinds of other lovely things in the lounge with Augie. Um, Augie is sort of the night shift uh, um, you know, worker. She makes sure that everything goes while everyone is asleep. Um, they have met with Gloria, who is our, our train's conductor, making sure that everything runs on time and everyone is doing their job as they are supposed to. Um, Al and Al are up in the engine, uh, working, making sure that that runs through the night. Um, and the other uh, NPCs, the other characters, are off uh, sleeping or doing their jobs. Um, at this point, they're settling down. Augie is starting to tell them a little sort of bedtime story about some of the mysteries of the adventures on this uh, train journey that they're, they're going on. 
And as that happens, you all begin to feel a little bit sleepy, begin to nod off a little bit. Gloria went off to bed, you know, mm. her shift was over and has, has gone to sleep on, on her, her time off. Al, it's warm and cozy in that engine. You know that your, 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 your Al has got that train going. You just feel your eyes get a little bit heavy. The rest of you are listening to, um, to Augie speak, and it's just sort of starting to play. She's got this lovely kind of Midwestern accent that just sort of soothes you. It soothes you. It's so calm and pleasant, and it's just making you feel right at home and safe. And for the rest of us, as we float up above the train, we see a man in a purple velour suit. He's flying parallel to the top of the train, and as he flies, a light dusting of gold dust falls off of his suit. It begins to travel down and, and float, falling on top of all of our players here. The only people that seem immune are those that took a, um, have a, a, an aura of caffeine. Um, <laughs> Maeve had a very strong cup of coffee, and as we look, we see this dust just begins to kind of crescent around her aura, uh, as it also does to Al and a couple of the others here uh, who are up on their caffeine aura. The rest of you fall right into it. It is so comfortable and sweet and calm. Um, as you begin to come back to your senses, you just hear the gentle lapping of waves. You feel a, a calm breeze, warm sunshine above your head. Um, you open your eyes and find yourself on a beautiful tropical beach. There's a mountain of foliage behind you that stretches out around two rocky atolls that surround a small lagoon about 100 feet across. Um, it is just a glorious, beautiful day for a vacation. Mm. What would you like to do? Is this part of the tour? And we see all of us? Yeah, you are all standing there. Oh, this is so warm. This is nice. <laughs> I, I didn't bring anything to go swimming in, though, because I thought we were going to be in the snow the whole time. Well, technically, you don't need anything to swim with. <laughs> <laughs> Except your modesty, Silas. Do you know him? Well, we just met a little bit ago, right? Oh, yeah, what are you doing here? I forgot. Bruce is just sitting up, and she's stretching her legs out, and she's looking around, and she's like, wait a minute. Where's the train? Weren't we on a train? I believe we were on a train. Uh, hi, hi, passengers. Um, I'm, I'm Al. I don't think we formally met, but uh, we should be on a train. And now we're not on a train. Do we get off the train? Wait a minute. Wait, what? do you work for the train line? Uh, yeah, I'm the stoker. I'm in the front engine, so you wouldn't have seen me when you came in. But well, uh, if you don't have that information, like, uh, as to whether we're still on the train or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm, fe I'm feeling, you know, the panic in your voice, and I, I, I would appreciate if uh, we, you know, need to continue on to, to the train. Right, it's right, of course. Cynicism, yes. not as, panic. Yeah. As an expert of the train, hi. As an expert of the train and your conductor, this is not a train. <laughs> <laughs> Might I remind you that I will bring all of the partners of my law firm down on this <laughs> train. What's it called? North Systems, if you don't tell us exactly what's going on. Right Are you now. going to sue the beach? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're going to sue the beach, we should probably take a look around, right? And this Neb is, is immediately really nice. going to get up and start to like wander the side of the uh -huh. lagoon. Oh, okay. We take a look around. Right? Neb, be, be the careful. Part. Be careful, Neb. I was once a lifeguard <laughs> couple for about a summer. So don't worry, I'll get you if that tide. Uh, I'll be around. Right. You're gonna save us. Absolutely. I well, will then be I have there. nothing to worry about, right? <laughs> right. Deborah, Deborah, what does yes. the air smell like? Does oh, it smell perception salty? Perception check, please. Ooh, hate that. First Let's roll, first yeah. roll. <laughs> first one, oh, one, oh, one, oh, one, oh, one. Don't, don't clap. Don't. <laughs> There's no wrong answer to the roll. 18. 18. That is not a bad roll at all. It does smell salty. It definitely feels like salt ocean air. Um, and, and you can see, other than this island, it is just horizon. I will say the train did not smell salty. No, it did so wait, not. Let me get this straight. Nobody sitting here in the stand right now has any idea how we got off the train and onto this particular beach. Nobody. I, pin I pinch you. <laughs> It hurts a little. I don't know if that were in Silas uh, moves forward, and he doesn't even know how it happened. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, there, there's a table all of a sudden that he almost like trips <laughs> over, and then he, in his hand, there's this little something, and he starts to spin it. 
and it's a top, uh -huh. and it's just spinning and spinning and spinning, and I'm going to actually let you determine whether it stops spinning or not. <laughs> I stopped drinking years ago. I don't know what's happening. It does not stop spinning. It just spins and spins. I think spins we're in a dream. And spins and spins. How are we all in the dream? Wait a minute. Whose dream is it? Yours? I don't know. I hope. Are you trying to accept me? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, if this is a dream, then. then, can, then. You, can you sue a dream? I will if I can. <laughs> I pinch you again. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of there's a lot of pinching happening. Maybe well, you should settle down. If, you, if you're dreaming, you're supposed to pinch someone. That's what my I, kids I told me. You know, I'm seeing that now. Let uh, me think about this. I was once a hypnotist therapist <laughs> back in my day. So wait, if you were a hypnotist, did you put us to sleep? Hypnotists aren't dream doctors. You. Wait. There's dream doctors? There's doctors for everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, Neb, uh, you've been sort of walking out on the rocks of this atoll that comes around the side, um, and, and you do stumble upon uh, a rock that looks more sort of carved than natural, kind of hidden within the rocks along the side there. Um, as you begin to look at it, there's space around it, almost like it's been carved out of a rock down into the earth. I haven't really been on a beach much. There's not many beaches in New York City. I don't know, this is probably not normal, right? And I'll kind of indicate to everybody what I'm looking at. Uh, as so yes, you, you see her like 40 feet away, like, hey guys, <laughs> this is not normal, uh, as you all are still on the beach. show us something. What is it? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> To someone who knows more about beaches, but what's going on with this? I don't know. What? Let's see, Bette Midler, but what else do I know about beaches? <laughs> so Robin was yeah. once a geospatial surveyor. That's right, she was. So uh, is it possible she can determine whether this rock is of this uh -huh. terrain? Yeah, you want to come on over and check it out? Absolutely. Yeah, come on over. Let's do a history with advantage. My kids would say you should lick it. That's true. You should lick everything. I mean, the last time I licked something, it burned. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you didn't lick it again, though, did you? <laughs> uh, true, but I, I was tempted to then lick the doorknob. Oh, okay. I got a 21. <laughs> a 21 is a nice, oh. solid roll. This is definitely made of the, the same type of rock and material that is in this area. Mm. Um, but you, you do agree with Neb's determination that this is a rock that was here, that someone carved out into the earth in this kind of column, you know, rectangle, tall shape, pillar kind of shape? Well, as an archaeologist assistant, I think we should dig down. That's usually where you get more answers. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I've seen this movie before. You touch some weird thing and it does something that isn't good. Can you touch it? <laughs> um, sure. Lick it, lick and si it, Silas lick is like kind of clamoring over yes. and then He's like, no, I don't think we should lick it. And he goes to reach his hand like he's going to touch it. Uh -huh. And almost like, you know, imperceptible, this, uh, you know, kind of waving in the air touches it before his hand gets there. Ooh. Telekinetically. Telekinetically. Yeah, um, it's rock. It's got some sand on it. Uh, it feels solid. Um, it's definitely got some like chisel markings, or you know, as you touch it, it it feels like it's been carved. It feels like a rock. <laughs> well, um, not to be annoying, but I am a person that deals with rocks all day. I can come over here and I don't know. Do you want me to give us some kind of clue to why we're here? Should we? I don't know. Break it. We break break it. the rock. <laughs> I mean, yes, break the rock. Literally, my job. I take out. I take out my. Uh, I have a small spike and light hammer for yes, my work, which is in my um, overalls. I take it out and I try to find the right uh, spot to do one hit to shatter it. Okay, great, fantastic. Uh, let's do. Uh, let's see. Let's do a. <coughs> let's do a perception check to see if you can figure. Well, investigation check to see if you can figure that out. Okay. Uh, that kid. is a. Three. A three. <laughs> you are super confident. That there's this little spot right on the corner. Okay. That if you strike that spot, the whole thing is just going to fall <laughs> apart. You just know it in your heart. My Am kids I love watching a lot of haunted movies. I'm just going to tell you, if you break that open and the spirit comes out, I'm leaving you. I mean, it's a dream. Isn't <laughs> something what? exciting supposed to happen? Spirits possess you in your dreams. 
I think not really. I take six <laughs> steps back. <laughs> <laughs> six work? steps. Uh, I, I whack it, unless anyone has any you other whack it. objections. I uh, love well, seeing stuff get broken. I, I love that you just kind of pulled that awesome tool out of nowhere. Did, have you? Does did anyone you else have you? pockets? I mean, <laughs> don't, you have that <laughs> don't you have that little tiny axe that you were showing off? Yeah, somehow it managed to be here with me off the train on this. Maybe we are in a dream then. Yeah, you all start to look at your. Yeah, you all look. You have all of your like regular equipment. Are yeah, lawyers it's, supposed it's to carry my dad axes? Gave me when I was a little girl. <laughs> Law is my different family's now. lumberjacks. I think I mentioned that on the. Mm. I, 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 oh my god! <laughs> and Silas is dead. Ob <laughs> you can Objection. Let <laughs> <laughs> it stop me. On the seats. No, um, I've only ever split wood with it. I mean, it's it's a tiny baby axe. It can't do much. And as she's saying this, stop Bruce waving it. Walk over to the rock, and so I mean, I'm, this wouldn't even nick like. I don't know, a tiny pebble, and she's going to swing it and hit the rock. Oh, boy. We're okay. This so rock. we'll do the first whack okay. first here. Sure. Um, so, yes, your whack, you go to, to hit it. Uh, not only does it not chip even, I mean, dust off, but you get a recoil. So you feel like this is a solid rock. Whatever this is, where you chose to hit, there is no, you know, vulnerability. Impenetrable rock. Yeah. And, and knowing rocks, as you do, um, uh, yeah, you're like, wow, yeah, most rocks have some kind of a fissure, something that would make it. Yeah. Wait, you say you work a lot with rocks? Uh, uh, loading coal is part of my job. Is, is coal a rock? Yeah, sure, why we're not? We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> I don't Michelle's know. Not clear, I mean, so we're not going to. Uh, we're in a dream. Many but things are minerals. Not everything is a rock. Right, right. Uh, are you, yes. you attack it. You. Mm -hmm. She feels she yes. knows what it is. She's going to hit it. She's Okay, so you attack it with your, okay, sure, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you raise Whack it up above your head. Again. Bring it down well, really dead center on the top of it. I, uh, um, ooh, great. Boom. You get the same thing. There's this huge recoil. It even takes you a minute to like hold on to it like Bugs Bunny, you know? Yeah. Just trying to keep it on as your whole body starts to shake with the reverberation of it. Um, the only thing you notice is that the stone itself also begins to reverberate with it, and, and the dust and the sand and everything starts to fall off down the sides, this sort of open sort of pit around the edges of it. Um, and it begins to sort of shake loose what you think is some carvings along the side. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So that's definitely not a normal rock. It's a magic rock. Oh. How do you know that? Because everything that keeps happening to us is some kind of magic. Oh, there's been more magic than this, just this from this trip to us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I left my kids at home. I'm going to go read the symbols if I can. Yeah, you, so you want to shimmy down or like reach, how do you want to look at it? Because it's kind of between two rocks. Oh, I'm just going to lay between them. You got it. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> you kind of lie down, get your head down to look. Um, it's a face. Nope. <laughs> Get up, step back. So wait, wait, wait you know. What, what, so what was it? I, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing there. Yeah, go look. Okay. You should look. Okay. I will get down. You get down. Because you're small enough that Neb can actually. Because she's tiny. She's you're like quite barely five yeah, feet. Yeah, skinny and tiny. Yeah, so you can actually slide your feet down and kind of wiggle in and fit <laughs> in the like eight inch, six inch space there in between. Mm -hmm. It's tight, but you can do it. I um, about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're pretty sure this is like a carving of a person. It's pretty square. Um, it has a face up at the top. It seems to be kind of like sitting on its knees with its arms at its side. Uh, very kind of Figurative. It, it's not clear gender, background, race, any of that is kind of, it's just a very kind of simplistic depiction of a humanoid. Um, and as you look at it, it is it, right in front of you, kind of as you stand, is this face. Um, it has eyes and a nose and a mouth, and you're noticing an impression right here on the forehead where a third eye might be. Wow. What do you oh, see? Well, there's, there's, like a stick figure down here, and it's all covered. Uh, Square figure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a stick figure down well, here? Well, I mean, it's better It's better than I could draw, so I mean, I, I shouldn't be critical. But uh, but yeah, it's got it's just a, a head and a body and, and something right here, and I'm going to poke at you it. You poke at it. Fantastic. Um, it's definitely 
quite a good impression. That, you know, it goes in a good like half inch to an inch as oh, you stick your finger. It's and a as button. you as you pull it out, no, sorry, it doesn't depress. <laughs> it's oh, just oh. <laughs> recessed, <laughs> recessed that far. Oh, wait, uh, as, I'm wrong. as you take your finger out, there's something on it. A little bit of powder. Um, it looks sort of purple to you, like purple powder came off on your finger. What did you find? Robin, do you know anything about <laughs> purple rocks? I'm shouting off. <laughs> Just purple rain. <laughs> oh, and haze. Okay. Uh, Robin, I don't know how long this has yeah. been taking, but um, Robin maybe has been like, identifying oh. this thing, maybe if it's been roughly 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> you know, she'll take that time to kind of walk around and bend down. She has like a, a gardening tools that she uh -huh. pulls out, a little trowel thing, and she's kind of like <laughs> scraping around the sand at the bottom or wherever she can. And she's been, she's been archaeologing. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yes, with your, your magical archaeologing, um, yeah, the, the, you, you're pretty sure that the, the statue itself is is just a just a statue. It is it is a carving of a humanoid looking creature. Um, the however, this niche that Neb points out as you go over and look at it definitely has something special, and you're pretty sure it's missing. You're getting like a half completed vibe off of this. Oh, everyone, this is exciting. <laughs> Al, I believe uh, you like scavenger hunts. This is true, Al. You do like scavenger hunts. Oh, uh, interesting. <laughs> uh, yes. Is this the start of a? Puzzle? I think so. Hunt or a puzzle? <laughs> Neb, we need to no, find no puzzle yet. where this goes. We need to find what goes right here. What Look. goes in the little slot there? Listen, this sounds really complicated. If you want to put an idea in my head. All you got to do is say the idea, and I'll get there. It's okay. Scavenger hunt. You hunts. can incept me in easier ways than a scavenger. <laughs> well, no, now this makes sense. This this was probably one of the things we were going to do on, on the tour, right? Was go on right? A scavenger hunt. That's I just true. didn't know there'd be a beach. Well, life's, life's a beach. Anything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'd, li I'd like to reiterate one more time, we're not on the train, so I don't think we're really in charge of what's going on here, unless <laughs> hey, you, you, hey. you plan something. Life is a train. You just <laughs> I'm just saying words. They don't, I, don't <laughs> I thought well, life was a highway. Okay, yeah. let's start. Life is life a train. Life is a train. Train is an island. We're at a beach. <laughs> you, look, you went down there to look at that strange face. I had to, you got not... Not yeah, drugs on your fingers. Yeah, wipe that off. Go wash that off. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in, in a second, I was going to show it to Robin and see if she could figure something out because you said you're an archae archaeologist assistant. Yes, yes. Just just for a summer, you know, back in Wisconsin, you where we found Big Owl it. was a mm. was a great dinosaur, almost completely intact. Oh, I'll have to big tell big you owl. about it sometime. <laughs> Maybe now. No, not now. Big, okay. big, big owl. Settle down. <laughs> <laughs> Little owl. So uh, you said scavenger hunt. We see dust. Um, are these the only two clues we have? What direction is the? Is it facing? Going? It's yeah. facing towards the mountain with foliage on it. Maybe we're meant to look for more purple things by the mountains. Is my only guess. I mean, there's not a lot of things in nature that are purple, right? It's eggplants. Those ir irritating <laughs> flowers <laughs> that get everywhere. Bugs. Many poisons. Violet. Yes, many, <laughs> many, many poisonous, poisonous things, things. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> are purple. Actually, um, I, I just look at you with the purple stuff on my finger. I'm like, oh, well. Yeah, don't, don't put it in your mouth. Well, don't look, lick you know, it. A lot of archaeologists, <laughs> I've Treat been told, like a chicken wing. archaeologists will lick many things to confirm whether they are or aren't bones. <laughs> now, that's not bones, but you can still taste it. But I'm not an archaeologist, so I don't know what I would... I don't know if it's I would a, know. It's a great day to start. What well, does bones taste like? Robin, That's don't you know what bones taste like? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no? Yeah, Robin, do you know what I bones do. taste like? I know what bones taste like. Who here oh, knows what bones taste like? Yeah, I mean, it was an accident, but I know what they taste like. <laughs> we have a winner. Is it an accident? Yeah, just an accident. Well, Silas, come down here and uh, poke this. I'm not, t no. <laughs> it, it, me knowing what they taste like doesn't mean that I'm going to stick something in my mouth that I don't know what it is. I'm learning a lot about the residents of my train. <laughs> <laughs> well, either this is a dream and nothing can really happen, or we're on a scavenger hunt that's been planned out by somebody and 
nothing bad can really happen, right? I like those odds. I mean, it mm. feels like those aren't the only two options. Mm. But, uh, That's the third one. I mean, well, I'm saying if that second option exists, then they're using the most um, prolific virtual reality technology that has ever been in existence because we were on a train. We yeah. are no longer on a train. We are on yeah. the beach somewhere. And then you're wanting me to taste bones. Like. Hey, I'm putting the idea in your head this is a good idea. That's what you said we should do. <laughs> uh, I, look, my kids are at the sitter. I have nothing else to do. <laughs> I did say if you want to. Okay, so the idea is that I need to taste the bone. Yes. All right. Someone's got to do it. It's a dream. Nothing's going to happen. Not, not a euphemism. No. All right, what do I do to taste this bone? I just stick my finger here. I mean, that's how I got the, the purple stuff. Was okay. It's here. All I mean, right. I you could just lick your finger. No, that's you okay. You swipe uh, your Silas, finger. We're, 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 Silas, we've <laughs> only known each other for a little while. That's I true. Don't know if that, that might be too <laughs> that, that was a little. I, I heard it when it came out. <laughs> you swipe your finger inside that niche Isn't and come out. Is like squelch. <laughs> that sounds like like a nail sort of scratching on stone. You know, you pull it out. You have this purple dust on the tip of your finger. Mm. Perception check, please. Oh boy. Is there any way I can bones. help with this since I've been examining <laughs> this stuff on my finger? <laughs> Want to taste this too? Um, sure. What's your What's your uh, wisdom uh, bonus? Uh, plus four. Plus four. So yes, I do this fancy thing where I stack bonuses for helping so that it matters who helps and how. That's cool. How are you helping, Neb? Uh, since he's going to lick it, yes, which is great because the last time I licked something, I got you don't have to. Yeah. Uh, I'll be smelling it, and it's been on my finger for a uh -huh. while, so I'm kind of just rubbing it through my finger. Okay, so great. I'm going to. Uh, examine it in all the other ways. So like a, a sous chef, he's like, well, it's gritty. And you're like, well, it also, but it smells like this. And does it need more salt? That kind of thing. That's exactly. Okay, exactly. okay great. What'd you roll, Adam? Do you have any salt? I rolled eight and 11. And 11 plus your three? Um, yeah. Oh, plus, yeah, from Memphis. From Memphis, 14? Yes, 14. Okay. Um, you can't identify it. Because you know bones, you're pretty sure it's not bones. It's not bones. It's not bones. Um, however, it does tingle. No. Now my mouth is tingling. Oh, it's tingling. Oh, um, and and the, the tingle, it's, um, it's not pleasant. We were right about the poison. Mm. Oh, Silas, no, don't leave us now. Um, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Go wash your mouth out. Go, go. I mean, it's probably slow acting. I'll just die painfully in another five minutes. Silas, is, if this is your dream, uh, then look at me. we'll the just disappear. <laughs> you have to stay awake in the dream. Your, well, your tongue begins to, to tremble and shake a little bit. Uh, unable, <laughs> <laughs> unable to control it. He's speaking in tongues. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Uh, speaking becomes difficult. I, I can't, can't really say anything at the moment. Like, whose idea Tongue was this? Um, I grabbed Silas. You are now unable to cast verbal spells. <gasps> oh. I can't. Um, I want to grab Silas's I'm hand. Going yes. on. I'm going to lead Silas to the water of yes. uh, the beach and just be like, just do a little rinsey. Don't swallow. It's salty, but just do a little rinsey. It might help. I don't know. Face just face just completely straight down. <laughs> straight in down in there. You start yes, yeah, trying to rinse your your tongue out as much as you can. As you as you do, a, a little tropical fish walks swims by walks by swims <laughs> by <laughs> in a pineapple under the sea. No. <laughs> don't eat flounder or sponge. A little fish <laughs> swims by and just kind of looks at you and continues on. You see a little octopus. This is a really beautiful, like thriving, uh, you know, yeah, little octopus. Uh, you haven't met that octopus yet. Uh, you know, thriving <laughs> underwater tropical environment here. Um, other than how salty it is and it begins to burn your eyes and a little bit of burning in there, it does feel like the tingling is beginning to go down. Well, that was a good idea. <laughs> Feels a little bit better now. Sound like you're underwater. <laughs> yeah, not. I can't keep my. I mean, you know, this would be really useful in some situations, but not in our current predicament. Well, you uh, regain your ability to cast purple spells. Yay. Okay. It has washed off. Excellent idea. It's not like I literally <laughs> would not have thought to rinse it out. <laughs> <laughs> it probably says a lot about me, but I would not have thought. <laughs> um, well, Robin, now that everyone is okay, is going to start. 
searching the beach for anything. Fantastic. Maybe an eye or something. An eye. You're yeah. looking for an eye. Like Let's an do eye an, an, shaped thing. an investigation check for an eye shaped thing. How big is this island? It's it's not super big. You know, as I said, the lagoon is maybe a hundred feet across with the you know the arms reaching out like this, and then the the big mountain top here. The mountain is not super high. Um, you know, definitely scalable. Uh, sorry, this is investigation. That's mm -hmm. a dirty twenty. It's a dirty twenty. Um, you go down the beach, kind of looking. The beach is pristine. It is like just you know that beautiful clean sand. Um, any of the rocks and things like that all seem to be so sort of further out underneath the water. The the sand is very fine up on the beach. You do see stones sort of just within the uh, surf line, but it's you know none of them seem to be popping out to you as being sort of eye like. Well, I might have been wrong about the scavenger hunt. Uh, anyone else have any ideas? Well, if, if it's not a scavenger hunt, does the train go by and point like this? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, the train was up in the, in the woods in the winter. This feels very, very different to you. OK, so let's just explore this dream idea more. If we're all having the same dream, how is that happening? Anyone? Magic. <laughs> Magic. Okay. Hear Dream me out. Magic. Okay. What if we start walking towards the mountain? Yes. Sometimes when you just head a direction, you find your destination by accident. That's when you get on a train, you don't control where you go. <laughs> you just arrive. Train walking. Yeah, but it has rails. Like, literally, it has rails. Hey, hey. No life, rails here. Life always has rails, even if you don't see them. <gasps> And maybe I'm that's why the statue is pointing towards the mountains to lead so us there. Oh, see, Al, this is why I hired you. <laughs> and, and this is why we need to hang out with you. You've got a lot of uh, great sayings and everything, like a lot of wisdom. I have kids. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Okay. Just come up with those kids. Oh, they, All right, so we're gonna go to the we're gonna walk to those mountains over there. Yeah, okay. it, it's just the one sort of you know larger mountain, um, but again, not not a huge mountain. It's definitely climbable. Um, it is dense, thick vegetation. This is okay. jungle. I mean, think predator. Think you know the. No. Just <laughs> here. Please think predator. Oh my God, Deborah, you could have led with anything. Oh else. yeah, no, think. <laughs> Think terrifying jungle, <laughs> scary monsters. Um, you know, the, the foliage comes up to your waist as you come up to it, so you can't see your feet as you're moving through. It is hot and humid. Um, it is also alive. There are birds squawking. You hear footsteps off, and this is, you know, we're talking obscurity, right? This is thick foliage. You can only see about 15 feet before all of the greenery begins to obscure what you see. I really think we should go somewhere mm -hmm. else. Like I not agree, the though, mountain. I just don't know where we would go. You, you have trusted me to do my job many times. I can get you to that mountain. And Gloria has an incredibly innate sense of direction. Mm -hmm. Like if, if there's north, she knows where it is. Yes. Oh. Is, is this mountain to our north? Um, sure. It's, if, the, if that's the case, Gloria, even if she cannot see it, yes. will keep heading the direction that her senses are telling her where she needs to go. Great. Uh, yeah, uh, Gloria absolutely can guide them on a straight path directly up this mountain. Come on now. Well, our, our options are stay here and build sandcastles or mm. keep playing around with the fate. No. <laughs> Which I, I'm gathering is not something that anyone wants to do anymore, although no. I've still got this purple stuff on my finger. I Don't thought I would it. get, you know, a little bit more like support for the sandcastle part of that. Yeah. I, I watched the ring yesterday. I'm not staying with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, jungle looks cool and if you know how to get us through there I mean well if we go through the jungle that face can't come alive in either was it supposed to come alive it, there's a chance huh <laughs> so with the ring does that mean there's a VHS on the train or <laughs> not anymore <laughs> <laughs> Left that behind. <laughs> I, I think what Gloria is trying to say is that if uh, we can uh, glean anything from uh, popular TV and, and film, it's that uh, we're supposed to be doing something, and maybe we should just press on here and not uh, keep looking the same things or touching the same things and trying <laughs> to break the same things. That's how I got my first two kids. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here. Feroza, Feroza, 
we were just told we have to do like movie TV logic. So we're not going to split up. <laughs> um, we don't feed any of these creatures after midnight. Mm -hmm. True. Um, do, uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, if we're doing movie and TV logic, what else have we learned? I don't watch a lot of horror movies. Don't. I, don't say I'll be right back. Oh. This is true. Don't at say you don't feel so good. At least yeah. one of us is going to die. Whoa. <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm just saying if we're going by like TV logic. I mean, yeah. only if we're talking about a horror movie. Yeah, you horror know, movie. Can, like con like considering that I am a beautiful woman of color, <laughs> if we're talking <laughs> horror movies, <laughs> we're, let's, this is actually more of like just a happy journey with yeah. friends. This is a vacation. Okay. Yeah. Let's discuss the fact that none of us actually know each other at all, but we're going to, for this moment, trust in each other, right? We're not going to all, one of us is not going to be a mass murderer. You happen to be one in your own life. Right? Well, Faruza, yes. Imagine you can do ass. totally trust me. Also, I'm not the one with the axe. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is weird that the right. only one who has a specification and legal ramifications is also the one <laughs> waving around a weapon. This isn't a weapon, though. This is my baby. That's weirder. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, 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 have, I have my rock, but it's just a little rock, you know? Like, it's I can throw relax. it. So yeah. Baby, it's just as like. It's really pretty, though. I mean, my help with getting through the. the all that. It's, 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 um, okay, and it actually, it might come in, in uh, you know, it might come in handy in the in the, the woods that we're gonna walk through. There might have a lot of bugs and stuff. Did you look at the shoes I have on? When you look <laughs> down, you guys see legit Manolos. <laughs> you might need to change your shoes, honey. Do you think axes work on bugs? <laughs> Gloria, I have a pair of your shoes. You look like you have some sturdy Oxfords on. I think I have. Yes, let me go get my spares. <laughs> we just have to go through these woods to the mountain where your spares are, right? That's right. That's right. I mean, listen, they're carrying like full axes and pick hammers or whatever. Like, Rock. it's totally reasonable just that you could have some shoes on you. I've got some Birkenstocks by the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, if this is a dream, is this the kind of thing in where we can just... Like, think about a thing and summon it? Because I don't know. What does everybody need? I have access to hammer space. I, <laughs> what? Hammer pants? <laughs> Is that what you want from hammer space? <laughs> I don't Because I think I can do it. Can, if it's can, a dream, I can do whatever. Will you give me Crocs? Crocs? Yeah. Is that the best use of our access, limited access to hammer space? I mean, why is it limited? It's a, if it's a dream and we really can just like make magic happen, then. All right. Okay. Some make all the Crocs, Crocs coming up. You ready? What color? <laughs> Surprise me. <laughs> it's a all dream right. world of magic, right? Do whatever you want. Yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> and you see Silas stick his hand into nothing and kind of <laughs> little zipper. <laughs> and he reaches into something that's kind of glowing for just a little bit and then he pulls out some rainbow colored crops because he couldn't decide the color. They just kind of gradient all the way across the rainbow. They're stunning. <laughs> They're absolutely stunning. Gloria. Thank you. you there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you had told me they were for her, I would have sized them for you. We can stop. Thank them. you. I'll put them on. My <laughs> legs. Look, you thought you were going to wear my shoes? Listen, I, I, I double checked if that's what we wanted. I love it. So Fruz is in like Ann Taylor and Rainbow Crocs. Yeah. <laughs> it's a look. My kids you would just love you. Those better. No. Yeah, you know, like it's just like that space where, you know, Wiley e. Coyote pulls, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's it's that kind of thing. Acme no. Acme space. Ac mm, yes. Dream confirmed. Let's go through the, there yeah. because that looks exciting. Obviously a dream. Oh, no one oh, can do that oh. in real life. <laughs> All right. In, in real life, I don't know how I would get here or on this beach or hanging out with any of you or this purple stuff on my finger. So dream confirmed. Let's go have some fun. Lead yeah. on. <laughs> All right, yeah, Gloria heads into the brush ahead of everyone. Um, this is, it is, as I said, very difficult walking. This is thick foliage, um, hard to see. It is immediately very, very hot. All of you begin to feel that, um, just uh, uh, exhaustion wave over you. I'd like everyone to please make constitution saving Silas, throws. Uh, Silas keeps thinking to himself, like, this is horrible. This is like mm. being back in the humidity at home. And as he keeps thinking harder and harder about it, mm -hmm. he like feels a little bit lighter. And he's like, and he's like, wait a minute, I'm floating. He's like, oh, this is a dream. And he continues to float up above the brush. And he's just looking at everybody like, 
Hey, yeah, it looks like you're really struggling down there. <laughs> and it's just kind of going to float. So you're above still within ground. the trees, just above yes. the kind of yes. the difficult terrain of the lower yes. half. Okay, great. Yeah, you are flying next to the party. Yeah. Um, over that sort of bottom area. I'm the sure rest of everyone, though, too, here, please, constitution saving throws down the line. 13. A 13. Uh, that is going Silas. To be a, um, that is a, <laughs> that is a four. Uh, 13, a four. Uh, what are we looking at? Constitution saving throw. Oh, no. <laughs> Yours should be okay. I have a plus six, so it should work. Yeah, you should oh, be fine. It's just slow. Oh, 13. 13. Nine. Nine, Gloria. 17. 17, Gloria. Uh, Al has a 13, but uh -huh. I do have resistance to fire damage. Okay, gotcha. Count. This does not count. Okay. No, there is no <laughs> fire. Um, Gloria, you are just leading the charge up at the head. Something that you just like, you're breathing in all of this hot, humid air, and it's just invigorating you. Oh, Everybody else. It's like the worst allergy season you have ever had. It just immediately clogs in your pores, and everybody starts talking like this, yeah. and it's just in your ears, and it's on your face, and you just feel kind of moppy and kind of wet and soaky, and it's what just kind of gross. Immediate dry mouth. You would give anything for a drink of water. It is so, you feel so dehydrated inside, even though you're just a sweaty mess outside. Uh, nice Gloria, day. you look gorgeous, yeah. What a, it's, it's, uh, there's like that, that that golden hour glisten. Oh, just yeah. like, uh, what a nice day. Just ready for like, oh like fitness magazine cover yes. picture. You just oh. look extraordinary. Silas. Um, Silas. Yeah. So yeah. you continue. Oh, go ahead. Just go ahead. Your dream sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen. You you built the you built the levels here. <laughs> I mean, you're the one that gets to Mary Poppins above the the canopy here. That is yeah. true. Yeah. I don't know. Like you know, apparently I can't fly above the pollen. So, <laughs> um, so I mean, literally, as Silas flies, I mean, sweat is dripping down <laughs> off of him to the ground. Oh. It, it if is, I notice that. Yes. I'm going to keep too. flying straight over that. Okay, you got it. You got it. It's just a, it's a lovely rainfall of <laughs> essence of silence, Silas. Um, you walk for a good like 15, 20 minutes, and it is an uphill sort of steady, gentle climb, but it is tiring. Um, finally, you begin to start noticing these um, sort of upturned leaves that are sort of barrels that seem to be gathering water. Um, it, it, there are a number of them quite full around this area. Oh my God. All right, you guys, I, I was once a park ranger. <laughs> we need to be careful and test the water before drinking it. Uh, between oh, Robin and Gloria, good. we're going to get through everything, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Silas's sweat, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I was about to say, as, si as she says drinking it, Silas is kind of hovering over and you see yeah. sweat no. just kind of coming. <laughs> Oh, no. That one's yours. <laughs> um, so yes, you approach one to take a look at it? Yes. Okay, yeah, you walk over towards it, you know, again, surrounded by this foliage, and it's just this kind of cup holding this, this clear water liquid. Um, as you look into it, there is a small purple round shape at the bottom of this little pool. Um, well, um, if you guys want to take a, a quick five or maybe a ten, yeah. I can detect things about it, Okay, whether it's special or not. So she's going to start thinking about whether this is special or not uh, for about ten minutes. What would the rest of you like to do during that time? Please don't just touch it. <laughs> don't just reach in. Well, as uh, as uh, Neb is immediately like, <laughs> <not> <laughs> the water. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't have you all water. gathered around the same one, or have you gone to different ones? I'm, I'm going to whatever one they're looking at. Okay, guys. so Gloria's Word here with Robin. Them. And I will say, Al here, working with coal is good, but fire, we could probably boil the water if we have mm -hmm. to, because we're in a forest, and a forest means there's usually parasites. Uh -oh. Silas doesn't even mean to, yeah. but if it, it, if it is loose in the barrel, he's going to start floating it telekinetically up. I he's like, oh, that. wait a minute, dream powers. You are unable to float that purple, okay. don't that that purple ball up. Yeah, it up. won't budge. My dream powers won't do it. Uh, Neb is going to start to like circle. You said there was a bunch uh -huh. of these. Yeah, there's quite a few of them in this area. I'd like to like peer in all of them and see... Do all of them have something at the bottom, or are some of them clear? Um, yeah, as you go through, they are all 
clear. Um, they all have something in the bottom. There are lots of different colors. There are other ones that are purple, some that are green, some that are yellow um, as you're going around. Oh, there's a lot of different colors in here. Maybe yeah. this is just like a, a flowering plant that has multiple buds or something? Um, Neb, I'd like you to make a strength saving throw. What? Me? Yeah, Neb. Oh, yay, this is going to be... So oh, I actually rolled okay. Yes, uh, yes, I have a negative one to that, though, so <laughs> that's a 12. That's a 12. Um, Neb disappears. <gasps> you hear her talking, and suddenly <laughs> she right, disappears so beneath everybody. the foliage. <laughs> I know. It, it's okay. She wakes back up in the real world. Robin, I'd like you to make a strength saving throw. Oh, good uh, I also have a negative one. Uh, wow, that's a... Oh. That's a five. That's a five. Robin disappears, sinking below the line of the foliage. Gloria and Al and Feruza, please make strength saving throws. Seven. <laughs> a seven. And a 10. And a 10. And a 17. So Silas and Feruza, you watch as both Gloria and Al disappear beneath the foliage. Uh, under the ground. Under the ground. You know, again, this is, you know, the, the, the line, the leaf line is about three feet above the ground, so they just kind of get pulled down. Feruza, get up in the trees, to just the trees. <laughs> Feruza, you felt... No, I'm flying. You felt a tug on your leg. However, as you felt it, you pulled your leg back instinctually and sort of broke away from whatever it was. We'll come back to the four of you in just a moment. Come here, and I'm still floating, and I'm like ra raising my arms, like get up in a tree, like so something. Grab your something's arm. wrong with the. Something's wrong. With All right, you're gonna try and pull her up. I'm trying to pull her. All up. All right, let's do an athletics check okay. to raise her. Although, unless your does your does your flying ability allow you to carry? Uh, it it does. Uh, okay, well, then maybe you're fine. Her weight. Maybe you're fine, Deborah. Maybe you're 25. fine. Oh, yeah, you're totally oh, yeah. fine. Um, all of those... Uh, <laughs> Steve Rogers with the helicopter. All, all of those exercise bands that you're doing in, in front of the computer, you know, really paid the off. Resistance ball. Yes. <laughs> with the little eyes that go like this. <laughs> So you, you're able to pull Fruza. Fruza, I think you're, you know, you're using your enormous muscles as well to kind of pull oh, yeah. yourself back on top um, and sort of, yeah, hold on to Silas as Silas holds on to you. As you pull yourself away, you look down, you can see like little sucker marks around your ankle just above the Crocs um, as you hold on to Silas. We will come back to you too. The four of you as you are, feel this pressure on your leg and it pulls you straight down, you find yourself getting pulled through the foliage and then through even lower vines that have seemed to kind of crisscross across into a large pit beneath these flowers. Mm. It is sticky mm. and sweet smelling down here. Mm. And you see four flowers, purple flowers, just sort of sitting next to you. They're quite big. They are about four or five feet tall. This pit is probably 10 feet deep. Um, you can see the dirt on the sides as well as all of these vines that are snaking around the bottom of this pit and along up the side to kind of create almost a sphere around this sort of area. But it is quite sticky on the ground. As you pull your hands up, you can feel it on your hands. Ah! Robin, were you by chance a botanist at any point? I was just about to say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How useful. How do we get out of this one then? Uh, well, in Alice in Wonderland, when Ooh. she fell through, she, she talked to the flowers. And Robin would like to maybe, I don't know if yeah. she can get through the stickiness, but uh -huh. she'd, I think she'd like to, since it's a purple flower, she yeah. might be looking for that purple bud. Okay. You're going to so see you approach that purple flower to take a look <laughs> at it. Nature check. Uh, okay. Uh, nature is a plus three. That's a 14. That's a 14. Um, this is definitely a flower. It is, you've never seen anything like this in nature before. Um, it does have little stamens, you know, little you know, pollen in the center of it, but that is yellow. However, as you are peering at that, it wraps its petals and attempts to grab your face. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> that's what I was going. No. Here we go. Oh, that is a natural 20, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Boo. Yes. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh stop. <laughs> so many. I did not roll very well. Uh, that is, well, that's not too bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is 16 acid damage. As it grips your face, you can feel, again, more of this like noxious substance come right out of the center of it as it starts to try to digest your face <laughs> as it grabs it. And you all look over and quite literally see the petals of this flower and, you know, her flowers on her hat sticking out the side. It's a lovely bouquet. Have just wrapped around it. Uh, everyone, please roll initiative, yes. including those of you flying up above, please. Oh. God, I'm rolling like garbage today. Yep. Feel that in my soul and heart. All right. Al. One. A one for Al. <laughs> oh. I have a negative one initiative. <laughs> And Gloria. 14. 14 for Gloria. And Neb. Eight. Eight for Neb. Oh, this is bad. And for Ruza. Come on now. Is she pleased? For initiative? Yeah, yeah. initiative. Wait, aren't yeah. I hanging from silence? You are. Do we just want to know don't when. don't want to help we us? We know <laughs> when. I'm watching them mess up, okay? I'm so you you currently them. can't see them, <laughs> but we're going to throw you in there in case um, you want to be a part of it. You are not safe on Silas. Eight, Let's and be eight clear. for Veruza. <laughs> Silas? Okay, yeah, I uh, 23. 23 there for we go. Silas. Magic man. And wow. Robin. 24. Wow. Oh. <laughs> so OP on that side of the table. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Wait, No, Robin. that side doing well is bad because Deborah's on that side. I am on this side. Um, <laughs> Robin, you're up first. There is a flower on your face, <laughs> slowly digesting it. Uh, Robin instinctually, yes. and hopefully this doesn't like rip her face off, but <laughs> she, uh, she will uh, just vanish. Yes. And uh, appear 30 feet away from this flower, if that is possible. That I don't know is if I'm possible. Grip, grappled or whatever, but yes. You are not. It, okay. it, it, it does not have that much uh, strength in its, in its petals. Um, so yeah, you disappear and kind of appear on the other side. Do you want to appear up, down? How, you know, do you have to have line of sight to where you're going? Um, ooh. I don't know, because I lost my character <laughs> sheet. Okay. So I'm going off oh of no, memory here. Oh, no, we lost here. it. Um, 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 I'm going to say you have to have line of sight, but okay. other than that, you're cool. So anywhere else in this pit. Yes, fine. Uh, just 30 feet back, maybe close to everyone else. OK. Um, and then she's just going to instinctually point at it and be like, uh, flowers hate fire. <laughs> That's what I learned as a botanist. And she's going to cast Firebolt. OK, fantastic. Firebolt at the one that, that bit your face? Yes. Go for it. Which is, I don't know. Are you on a hot spot? I am just on 5G, and it's working <gasps> like a charm. Oh. Can I, I would pull up my phone, Damn. but it's not here. We're <laughs> <laughs> using it over there. Oh, no. Um, that is going to be uh, nine points of fire damage. Nine fire damage. You got it. OK. Um, it lights up on fire. Part of the problem is this sticky substance here doesn't seem to quite want to uh, stay a lit. Um, so it, it, it lights up on fire. You can see you singe a little bit, but this kind of gel that's on everything seems to be protecting it. Uh, okay. Uh, and that will be my turn. Okay. Um, Silas, you're up next. You're floating up above. They're gone. Um, maybe you hear a little bit of <laughs> <laughs> from way down below. Oh, okay. Um, if I hear, well, I'm going to deposit Feruza at a tree <laughs> okay. because I don't want to carry her everywhere. <laughs> so for now, <laughs> deposit her on a tree. Like uh -huh. I'm, I'm looking around and trying to find one where she can, you know, uh, mm -hmm. ably, uh, you know, kind of attach herself to it. Um, and then after that, do I see any openings of any sort on the ground? Um, on the ground, no. Up of, oh, oh, yes, you're from above, I'm sorry. No, I mean, it's all this, this leaf cover. I mean, yes, it's penetrable, but you cannot see through it. All right, I am going to, after I depart, because I don't want to make this decision for her. <laughs> um, so I'm going to leave. And then you said that I heard a little bit of murmuring. <laughs> and I'm going to say, 
it's just a dream. And then I'm going to dart flying like straight <sighs> to the ground to see if I can. I'm putting my hands in front of me. Dive down. Like, down, down, and alive. <laughs> and I'm just going you to. fly through the foliage. You burst through this netting of vines. Um, it, it, it's, it's hard. You can feel it as you kind of squeeze through, trying to kind of grip you as you do. But in movement, it's unable to. Um, as you come down into this pit with the others, you see them all sort of sitting in this sticky substance, four of these purple flowers. Um, Robin's face is got like red marks where this, this acid tried to burn into her skin. Uh, she is not looking good. Her okay. hair has been burned away at the side. Do, do I still have uh, action or bonus action? Yeah, you, so that was your movement, okay. as far as I know. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Um, so I am going to um, say, Miss Robin, what happened? You've looked better. And as he says this, just kind of accidentally <laughs> yes. um, energy uh, comes out. Uh, we'll do a healing word there. All right. And that is, I'm going to roll with your thing here, mm -hmm. if that's okay. Oops, sorry, I rolled the wrong type. Where is the four-sided, the one that would hurt me if I stepped <laughs> on it? There we go. Um, well, that's going to give you six uh, hit points back restored and then um does it look like so she's farther away from this flower now so it's you know it's a round pit they're fairly evenly equally spaced in this area okay. um so she has moved away from one but you're noticing you can't really get very far away from any of these things okay i'm not trying to land though do i okay. still have yes um, you can hover it's it's 10 feet deep so you can feet, hover okay, above it. it um and then um and then, so then the last thing I will do is uh, you, you see as he comes uh, down through that just this uh, kind of spectral mm -hmm. for, for just a moment and then mm -hmm. it solidifies and it looks like uh, basically, um, I don't even know, herbicide? Is that what it's called? <laughs> like the stuff that Insecticide? kills plants? Insecticide? Yeah, 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 or whatever. herbicide. Yeah. No, the stuff that right, kills right. Plants, plants, not, not the bugs. I'm fine herbicide, with bugs right yes. now. So, Weed killer. Um, so then it's like uh, it comes together and it just moves forward a little bit and just a giant spray. You see the uh, this like fake <laughs> hand just pour it and, and uh, slams into like it. A, like a Nerf gun of ba herbicide. Uh, because obviously I don't even know what's called. So yes. it it's like a facsimile that doesn't even gotcha. um, you know, really probably work. But we'll see. Across Orkin Bo Man. Herbicide. He yeah. is Orkin Man. Um, and that is only, wait. Uh, that is only a 10 to that, hit. A 10 okay. to hit? Oh, you miss. I'm yeah. sorry. All right. Um, and I'm just yeah. going to keep floating there. You're floating. Last thing, uh, I'm just going to look up is the opening. Is there an opening or is it closed up? The, gl the, the vines seem almost sort of elastic. They sort of part mm -hmm. as you squeeze through, but they kind of spring back into position after you are through it. And then I'm just going to say, Faruza, come on in. The water's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Or is Horrible. It sitting on a branch, looking down, going, "Where did you go? Where is everyone? Who did <laughs> he literally you dove go? into the earth." Um, yes. So uh, we're back to uh, the flowers' turn. Okay. Um, as the flowers there, uh, those of you who are sitting, we're going to say uh, Gloria and Al. Vines shoot out from it towards you. Um, I have a thirteen and a oh no, that was a thirteen and a ten to hit you. Uh, the thirteen hits. 13 hits you. What about you, Gloria? 10 hits me. 10 hits you. Oh, dear. Yeah. All right. So there we go. You both, the vines reach out. They grab your ankles. Um, with that, you are going to take some bludgeoning damage. That is going to be six bludgeoning to Gloria and five bludgeoning to Al. Unless. Um, unless. I have a reaction. Um, when I'm attacked, uh, I have a shield that <gasps> forms around me. So unbeknownst to me, I uh, I sort of do that thing where someone's coming towards you, you just close your eyes, which is the worst <laughs> reaction. You're like, well, <laughs> goodbye to me. And uh, instead of dying, I uh, a little shield uh, pops around me. It looks like a red flaming ball. Uh, it sort of emanates from, in my pocket I have um, a, it's almost like I, I still had the poker from when I was working on the engine. Yeah. So that emanates, emanates from there. And I uh, am now protected, and I have a plus five bonus to my AC until the start of my next turn. Fantastic. So as vines. this vine reaches out and grabs onto Gloria's leg, as it goes for yours, it sort of bonks against this, this aura around you. It tries to slither around it, but like you're encased in an egg, it can't quite make its way, find a crack through. 
Um, however, Gloria, please make a strength saving throw as this thing attempts to drag you towards it. 23. A 23. It pulls, and it is hard. You can feel it's gonna, it would rip your, your leg right out if you were not digging in with everything else that you've got. It does not successfully pull you towards it. I'll um, go over there anyways, don't worry. The it's next flower right. reaches out towards Neb and Robin. Oh, that's a pretty high math. That's gonna be a 20 for Neb. Oh yeah, sure. And a uh, 15 for Robin. That does not hit. That does not hit Robin. Robin, you are fine. Neb, it grabs onto your leg. Hey! You're gonna take seven bludgeoning damage as it smacks into you and grabs, and please make a strength saving throw. Uh, uh, 13? A 13. You are immediately upended onto your bum as it pulls your leg out from under you and drags you right underneath itself. Its petals open and come down to close on you. Oh, that is a 23, 22. Jesus. To hit? Oh, to yeah. hit? Really? Uh, my armor class is still a nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That Even is in the dream. 10 acid damage. As the petals really lock on acid. your face and again begin to burn into your flesh as it tries to digest you, um, it is now Gloria's turn. Gloria is incredibly unhappy. Uh, you, I, so would I. <laughs> And as this vine is trying to pull her towards it, there's a moment it's like, you know what? All right, sure, I'll, I'll go where you're going. And it's like that, like with an animal just drags their feet across the ground. Yeah. The charge. And you see this visceral, disappointed mom look yes. in her yes. eyes. She pulls up one of her pants legs and pulls out one of those extendable batons and then just charges towards this thing. <laughs> and she's, she's aiming for the base because she doesn't want to hit towards the petals in case the pollen will burst out in doing gotcha. so. Absolutely. She's going to go ahead and charge ahead and swing at this thing. Oh, yeah. That's a 25 to hit. Ooh, that'll hit. Are you going towards the one that has Neb or the one that tried to, or the one that has, tried to has you? Me. Yeah, okay, great. Has you, one don't, you don't disrespect Fantastic. in this house. Oh, That's good right. God. That is, math is weird, 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh, 17 points? And I do um, get an extra attack. You do get an extra attack. Please attack again. That is a 19 to hit. A 19 will hit. 16 more points of bludgeoning 16 damage. more points? Yeah. <laughs> wow. nice. As you hit it, um, with that second blow, you actually, like, 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 um, um, <laughs> Wax? Axing? <laughs> Axing is not the word. <laughs> like when you chop down a tree, yes. right? You basically, s this baton goes clean through on that second sweep, yep. the stem of this thing, which topples it over to the ground. You can see the petals close in on themselves as it kind of shrivels up that, uh, that flower. You got nothing on me, Seymour. <laughs> <laughs> Audrey, yes. Um, all right, fantastic. Gloria, anything else? Mm. Nah. <laughs> All good. All right. Uh, the third flower. The third flower is going to reach out towards. Oh, you're up there. I can try to get you. Oh. Going to go for Silas. Me? Not you, Silas. Uh. Nope. That is a very low roll. Uh, a vine shoots up, tries to grab onto you up in the air. But yes, you do some fun acrobatics and are just able to dodge it. Um, the second one's going to come towards Al with a, that's gonna be a 17 to grab? It uh, definitely grabs me. That still grabs you. Yeah. This vine is able to find that one weak spot in your egg of protection, and it weasels, squeezes its way through and is able to grab your ankle. Mm. Um, well, let's go with your arm on this one. Mm. You take seven bludgeoning Incredible. as it bangs <laughs> into your arm, uh, grabbing Incredible. onto you, and then a strength saving throw as it tries to pull you towards it. Uh, I am rolling a lot of twos today. Uh, that's going to be a <laughs> four total. Two is the loveliest number. You got what? I got a four total. A four total? Yeah, it drags you and your whole you know, shield aura with it as it pulls you again right towards by your arm, um, pulls you towards it, uh, and then its petals reach down towards you. How many actions for this flower? It, it's a lot of actions. Um, a lot that's, of that's, uh, that is a 16. 
cool, 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 cool. On the pedals? With your with your fanciness? Five hit points left. Go ahead, go Did ahead. it get you? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You better not die. I cannot afford to get the Oh, work. no. The 16 was to hit you. Oh, sorry, to hit me. Yeah, it did, it did hit you. Yeah. It did hit you? Yes. Okay. Yes, no, that was to hit you. That was not your damage. Uh, however, I am going to do 16 acid damage. Oh, cool. I'll just redo that one more time. I put it back in. Now it's back out. <laughs> now it's back out. <laughs> five hit points. Woo! As these petals, again, somehow burst through that, that protective shield that you have going that always helped you in the hot engine as the coals were bursting back and you had this innate ability to just protect yourself from them. Uh, these seems to make its way through. It locks on. It'll go from the side. This is starting to burn into your ear on the side of your face as that acid um, digs in. Um, Neb, your turn. <laughs> can I actually speak or is You can. It is not you're not restrained in, or grappled in any way. It's just it's just locked on, but you can pull away. Okay. So there was a moment when Robin at first had talked about, you know, maybe we can speak to it and where Neb likes the idea of yeah. talking with it, but now she's being <laughs> eaten by it. Yes. And that sucks. And you hear her yelling for help. She's like, I don't pick up this thing off of me. Ah! And um, she is, as she's yelling next to her, all of a sudden a, a tiny little wolf shows up. Oh, yay. Um, in colors of purple and blue and like a swirling nebula as she's going to call for her, for a friend to come and help, and then my friend is gonna attack the flower that's attacking me. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, so. Are you named Neb because of Nebula? Yes. Oh my god, oh. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm all in. We do too. Um, and then, do, does, does my beast friend have pack tactics because I'm next to the flowers attacking? Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. Because my roll, yeah, I need to, <laughs> I need to help. Ooh. Oh, okay, that's a natural 20. Woo! Come on, puppy dog. I, help, help, I really need some help. <laughs> okay, it's going to, I've never, I, I don't know if I've ever crit with this thing before. Um, uh, it's going to roll 1d8, go ahead. Uh, so it's going to be 2d8 plus 4 plus the spell's level. So it's 4, so it's 8, 9, uh, 15. A 15, 15 to hit? of Nebula Wolf fighting damage. Will absolutely hit. Uh, Nebula Wolf jumps in again, <laughs> grabbing right towards the stem of this huge flower as it digs its teeth in um, you know, and pulls back. You can see half of that stem or, or more. I mean, it, it, is, it is almost uh, through to the other side, but not quite. And I'm assuming it would be my action to try to get myself off of this thing or do I can I just You can just move it? and oh. it will come off. It is not it is not holding you in any regard. Then at this point I would like to do that. Okay, so it, it, it stumble on back and go, "Ow." Okay, I guess everybody was right about all the poisonous stuff. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> yeah, you too. Um, you know, again, bits of your skin have been kind of peeled or dissolved away as you're looking at the, the fat and muscles sort of just underneath through that thin layer, suddenly exposed to this, this, this polony air here. Um, is that all, Neb? I think that's everything I can do. Okay, fantastic. That's um, disgusting. It's yeah, very this disgusting. Is, this is uh, Rob, uh, no, not Rob, Feruza, you're up next. Who's dreaming? Okay, so Bruza is sitting on this branch. Yes. Legs down the under the just. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> From down below. Okay. Well, okay, I just saw one superhero fly. She pulled these shoes out of nowhere. <laughs> and as she's saying this, she started getting really agitated. So if you could see her hair, it starts to look like there's static electricity or lightning sort of in it. And it, if you look down at her legs, they seem to be getting a little bit longer. And she's like, wait a minute. And as she looks at her legs, like, because she's so confused, she falls off the branch. Okay. <laughs> Tumbles off. Um, head over heels, just mm -hmm. circling in the air. You fall through that first layer of brush, and you land prone on this uh, sort of woven vines. But as you land with your face down, you can just see through it the overhead view of what is the, the, the absolute uh, carnage that is happening <laughs> below you. Um, you see, you know, plants with their, their petals just on top, like covering your friends' faces. Others are in the corner just screaming, ah, ah, dog, 
There's a puppy dog that has suddenly appeared that's <laughs> eating one of the other plants. Um, uh, uh, Gloria's there with a baton just like <laughs> trying to chop, chop down one of the other ones. Uh, what would you like to do? This is a horror movie. <laughs> because because you fell, I'm even going to say you still have movement. This is this is you have a full turn ahead of you. Okay, uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to get you guys out of there. I think just don't bring those things with you. And she's going to take her <laughs> axe like off her back, her hair, and you guys yeah. you can see her hair looks like it's like static electricity flowing yes. through it, and her eyes actually start to get really bright. And she's six one, but for some reason she looks a lot bigger. <laughs> than you remember, especially for you. She's gonna pick up the axe and go, ah! <laughs> Highly effective. On the vines? Straight. There's <laughs> On the vines? Yeah. Okay. Cut through them. Oh, the vines love it. They part, they just swallow you right down. The vines want hard for you to be in the pit. So I land in there. You with slide them. right through onto the ground in the pit. <coughs> yep. Mm -mm. What happens to me? Anything? Nothing happens to you, but you are in there surrounded by flowers and friends. Flowers and friends. <laughs> Who's being attacked it actively? So actively this being one. attacked right now? This one. Uh, Neb, this is, one. Neb and Al, I believe, are actively being attacked. Okay, who do I land on? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> who would you like to have landed on? I landed on Gloria. You landed on Gloria. <laughs> Gloria <laughs> just just no, killed. You can land on me. I can take it. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, Gloria absolutely slaughtered <laughs> a, a flower. Uh, so as you land down next to her, uh, you know there's a lock eyes of just like primal, you know, yeah. What took you so long? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Show me how the legal system over. really works. <laughs> so she looks over at the one that's attacking Robin, and she's yes. like, not my mother. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> and I have an extra attack, so Amazing. she's going to use that just to, like, I guess, hack at the one without getting it. too close to your face with it. Hack it. Yeah. Hack it off. Go for it. Well, let me see. Strength or? Um, you're just doing an attack with your axe, right? I'll do a melee. Yeah. You're just melee attack. Oh, I've only missed one. That's fine. The thing, the thing you do. Oh, wait, wait, I hit the wrong one. <laughs> 14 hit. A 14 will hit. Go ahead, give me your damage. Six damage, though. Six damage? Yeah. Okay. It's about Can halfway through. Oh, yeah, add your rage. Do all the yeah, things. Yeah, I get plus two. So, so okay, so, so eight damage? Yeah. Okay, it's a little more than halfway through. Your axe swung high and got, like, stuck about halfway through. It's so sticky, but you pull it back out. Do you have a second attack? I do. Go for it! <laughs> I keep wanting to use my dice because I never get to use physical dice. So <laughs> use the physical yeah. dice. I'm also enjoying your physicality right here, right yeah. next yeah. to you, so don't mind Hol me. Holding, like holding an axe. <laughs> I'm very glad it's not real. <laughs> it is a. Ooh. Nice. <gasps> 22. <gasps> 22. <laughs> 22 will hit. Give me your damage. Okay. 24 plus 3. Six. Six damage? It's crazy damage, but. Oh, man. Um, um, oh, it's holding on by one, like, you know, like celery has those little <laughs> strings? Like one little <laughs> celery <laughs> string <laughs> is still holding on uh, as, as, it, as it wants to. It falls over. The thing is still, a, like, alive and able to attack, but it has fallen prone for a plant. <laughs> it, it is a, pr a prone plant. Prone plant. A prone plant um, as it had lying on the ground. Anything else you want to do? That is all I can do. That's it, it for is that? away from me. Okay, it is, it is currently not mobile. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, standing back to back with Gloria, both of you brandishing your weapons. Uh, total superhero moment here. I feel as like you are sisters right now. Cutting mm -hmm. flowers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, that is that turn. Um, all right, the last flower. No meat. Uh, Feruza and Gloria. Yep. Oh, that is a natural 20 on Feruza. Oh. Uh, but that is going to miss you, Gloria, as it Perfect. reaches out. So, Feruza, as this thing bangs into your leg, you are going to take six bludgeoning damage from the slam onto your leg as it then oh. tries to drag you towards it. Please give me a strength saving throw. Try. <laughs> 21. 
21, you are able to resist it, and it doesn't Ooh. pull you in as you dig your heels in, slam your axe into the goo, and hold yourself in place. Dig those crocs in. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. That is its turn. What a Ow. great idea. Ow, you are currently engaged with flour. What would you like to do? I am having a hard time today. My arm is all like twisted. My face is like looks uh, like sort of uh, acid burned. Yeah. And um, but I do realize I have this power in this world wow. that is uh, flame adjacent. Yes. Um, so I reach again uh, for my uh, my poker, which is serving as my uh, attunement item, and I look at the three flowers that are left. Yes. Correct. Three left. And I go each of you. <gasps> I've got your number. And I cast Scorching Ray. Uh, so I get three different attack rolls for each guy. Fantastic. Uh, so does a, and this is a plus five, so ugh, bad. Um, that's a 14 to hit one of them. It will hit. Okay, Let's do great. that one first. Uh, great. Go ahead and roll um, your damage on that. Two of these. That's six plus one is seven, plus five is 12 damage for the one. As it goes, you go towards the one that Alicia just got. That single string, you have precision. You thread that needle and finish it off. It, it crumbles yeah. and sinks in on itself right in front of you. Incredible. All right, go for the next one. And then one. number two, that is a natural one, not doing anything good there. <laughs> oh, no, it goes far aside. Uh, this is the one that has, that has you. <laughs> Incredible. It's just you, too close. I can't do a range attack. Near you. Yes. Okay, and the last one, because these dice are so bad. Uh, that is a seven plus five is 12 to hit. Uh, 12 will hit. Okay, amazing. Uh, that's two plus three is five plus five is ten damage. Ten damage on that one. Okay, that one so far was undamaged. Um, so this this first again, this is a fire that lights up. Yes. So yes, it all kind of bursts into flames, and then you see it's kind of burnt off that gel layer on the outside. Okay. Crispy full each for dinner, everybody. <laughs> all right, that is the no, end. No, you of don't want to eat it if it's the same stuff as I had before. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, we're back up to you. Okay, um, Robin uh, is currently, like if she were to move, is there an opportunity attack from any of them? Um, you notice that other people have kind of moved away from it and they don't seem to have okay. you know, the right. ability to kind of come after you. Fair, that, way. that makes sense. Um, okay, uh, Robin, these things are like four to five feet tall, right, you said? Yes, oh, well, so the one that was on you is, is gone. Oh, okay. It, it got killed, so. Um, so yeah, so you are you are free to move and do what you want. How heavy would you say these flowers are? <laughs> Not very heavy. Okay, I'll take it. Um, Rob <laughs> that's my that's my scientific answer. Not very. Robin would like to. The one that was de decapitated by Gloria. Yes. Would like to run up to that one. Yes. Grab it. Yes. And catapult it <gasps> across to one of the other oh, ones. You got it. Do you, you want, there's really one that's strange. like that's really almost crazy. done, and there's one the, the new one that just got semi-burned. Go for the new one. The new one. Okay, yeah. great. Um, so yeah, so give me what happens. Uh, I need a dexterity saving throw. It fails. It fails. <laughs> I love it. So that'll be 3d8. Ooh. All right, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, 10, 11 bludgeoning damage 11 as it bludgeoning like, damage. explodes on it. All right. As you throw one flower, and it's like sister flower, um, <laughs> it flies forward and boom, bangs right into it. You can see that it has like bent it at an angle. So it hasn't you know, chopped through that stem, but it has sort of folded it over um, in, this, in this area. Um, it is still, however, <laughs> trying to find something to latch onto. Uh, okay, um, and that is that fun. You were doing. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it all day. We can be here for six hours. Oh. <laughs> I like my sound effects. I can't do accents very well, but I can do voices and sound effects. Yes. We're over on this side, being like, Whoa. It's, yeah. it's good. It's really, it's a good one. I, I this like is it. my nightmare, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's just flowers on a pleasant tropical island. I spent a lot of times in the woods, Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be my turn. That's all I'm going to do. That's all you're going to do. Yep. Okay, fantastic. Um, Silas, all floating right, up so there. What is... Dodging vines. Yeah, we have flowers where? Like so there are only two of them left. 
Um, these two are kind of more at the perimeter. Um, they are currently with Al and Neb and Feruza. Although Feruza yeah. did not get pulled, but she's engaged with it. All right, I saw that um, Al kind of had a rough time of it mm -hmm. for at least a second there. Yes, Al, and so, Al had some. Um, Silas is going to, uh, you, you see float out of uh, his pocket uh, in his uh, you know shorts because he still has those not uh -huh. the jam pants, uh -huh. but um, he they uh, this ring starts floating out and yes. it glows a bright green, and it was supposed to be here with me, but I you know forgot a lot of things when I was packing. <laughs> um, but uh, ring flo floats out, starts glowing, and you see uh, this energy shoot out from it, and it materializes into something that looks uh, you know spectral green. Uh, hedge trimmers and it, start, <laughs> it starts just ch -ch 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 like that yes. and uh and the hedge trimmer is going to attack yes. uh the one that i think robin just attacked okay yes gotcha and that is going to be wait a minute that is a 13 to hit that'll hit okay and that is going to be <laughs> Ooh, nice um it's terrifying, all of you. That <laughs> is these uh, edge clippers flying through the air. <laughs> Fourteen point. They're very large, too. Like, like um, horror, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> very, uh, so that's going to do fourteen points of force damage. Woo! Oh. You just completely slice through that thing. Um, it, you know, it did what it was made to do. You know, they, Beauty and the Beast has like teapots. We have hedge clippers. <laughs> hedge clippers. Uh, yes, you decapitate this thing with a hedge clipper. All right. Um, it and falls to the side and withers. That was the uh, bonus action. And gotcha. as it does that, um, the hedge uh, uh, trimmers just kind of uh, hover in place for, for just a moment and yes. just start clacking, <laughs> uh, kind of like taunting the other one. <laughs> um, and then I am uh, floating down to Owl say, oh, man, that, that looked rough. I'm surprised you're still alive. And I'm going to, <laughs> going to uh, touch. I was like, I can't hear touch you. Touch Al on the shoulder. Gone. Yeah. Um, and I am going to uh, cure wounds there. And that is going to restore, um, let's see, math. Um, it's going to be 16 points Yay. of uh, healing. And uh, and I'm I'm still not touching the ground, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hover where I am near out. Okay, fantastic. Um, uh, Gloria, you are up next, having just murdered some plants. And there's just one left, right? There's one left. It's it's currently engaged with Al and Neb. A little bit of steam comes out of Gloria's yes. nostrils. She is angry. She's tired. Her long braids, you see a couple almost like twist into horns for a moment as yes. they start to settle. She remembers what her grandmother taught her. She remembers what her mother taught her. If plants are giving you problem, you rip them up. <laughs> you uproot them, you clear the land, you plant something better, and you start over. That's right. It is an ancestral thing, and she knows what she's yes. doing. She charges ahead, and she's going to swing again. Yes. That is a 24 to hit. That will hit. <laughs> Here you go, guys. For, uh, okay, okay, chill. For <laughs> six points of bludgeoning six damage. six points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> and she's tired of this. She's tired of this. She's tired of the game. Yeah. She's tired of this dream. Yeah. And she's feeling a little bit reckless. So she's just going to go all out on how she's swinging. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Is that what's still? Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's another 24 to hit. Whoa. Crazy. Go for it for 14 points of bludgeoning 14 damage. 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Um, this baton, this is still using this extendable baton. Uh -huh. I mean, it is like yeah. Louisville <laughs> slugger. It just, it, you all feel the wind as Gloria swings it through the air. It slides like butter mm -hmm. through the stem of that, that uh, mm -hmm. thing, which goes cart whirling over itself in the air hitting the wall where it just sort of bursts into, mm -hmm. you know, little tiny pieces of itself and flutters down to the ground. Don't touch my babies. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. All four of these flowers have been destroyed. Um, you are covered in sticky nectary goop, but otherwise the threat seems to have gone. Is everyone okay? I thought, I those, were, so. I thought those were pretty flowers, but I guess they were just weird. Ow. Yeah, ne Neb, you have some skin kind of hanging off various <laughs> various places on your face. Listen, don't don't tell me about that. And she's scratching the the little wolf yes. that she's got with her, 
And it, it's interesting because the, the wolf kind of looks a little bit like it's uh, the same color as her arm. And as she's scratching it, also this mist starts to come. It, you know, like when you uh, scratch a dog and they're shedding, and the <laughs> fur just goes everywhere? Yes. It, it's like that, but it starts to swirl up. And she's going to start to feel a little better. She's like, well, come over come over here and uh, give, give the puppy a little bit of a scratch. Uh, it, it, it feels like it's healing everybody a little bit. Yay. Uh, Yay. So you come on over, <laughs> casting healing sparklers. <laughs> Pet the dog. Pet the dog. <laughs> yeah. So you put your, your healing sparkler. Here. Here. Okay, so yeah, everybody can get a D6 of healing. It's a D6 plus a four. Oh, nice. So anyone who wants to come on over, uh, you scratch the puppy. And <laughs> it's a, it's literally a, a therapy puppy. Yeah. Sure. Oh yeah, literally a service support wolf. emotional support <laughs> wolf. <laughs> yeah, one of those things that come healing puppy. Uh, so I'll let each of you roll that, and so yeah, oh, she's okay. just gonna keep cool. giving giving it good scratches. And I actually don't know what that means for you <laughs> now that I've just summoned you out of nothing. Okay, this almost makes the evil plants better. <laughs> Let me get behind you. Oh, maybe Where I should get a dog. From? I called for help. You don't come from nowhere? Oh, I don't know. I had my face in the plant, so you oh. would know more than I would where it actually came from. I wonder, like, is the dog just going to, like, disappear? Like, Don't say that. The, I mean, the stuff that I pull from Hammer Space just disappears. I've so. seen these movies. I don't watch yeah. them anymore. <laughs> You're not going to disappear, are you? You are fearsome, little wolf. It's going to be here forever. Yeah. Don't ask that question. <laughs> that gives wolf, it a it's definitely going to disappear. <laughs> yeah, this is just the, the foot never is end. doing that. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like lying to your kids about the tooth fairy. Itself. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys fell in this hole, and these flowers just came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, they're real angry flowers. I guess. Uh, can we can we climb out of this hole? Or can we, can we jump real high? It's uh, kind of deep in here, right? Yeah, I don't want to stay in case more of these things. Yeah. Really, they're weeds. They're going to pop up, uh, although you're doing an excellent job of gardening. <laughs> how, how sticky is this sticky? Well, I mean, it's, stick, it's sticking to your clothes. Um, it's, you know, uh, even if, you know, if you were to press your hand down, it takes a little <laughs> to kind of, you know, pull it back up. Oh. I did it again. <laughs> hey, you know what? I just, it's growing now on me. Now that I know you don't like it, I want to do it all <laughs> the it's, time. It's growing on me. That's how Dungeon Master's brains works. You um, realize that, you react, and I go, <laughs> ooh. Do you think we could Spider-Man our way out here, sticking to the walls and climbing up the vines? Oh. I never thought of that, but I think maybe we... Wait, how I deep mean, is this pit? Does anybody well, have rope? Ten, a little over 10 feet. If, if anybody has rope, I can fly up and try to go through and then tie it to the tree where Feruza was for a little while. We, we might be able to take some of the vines they were using, actually, to make a makeshift rope. They're clearly very strong. And they'll be sticky, so it'll help with the climbing. No one should trust me to tie those knots, but if somebody wants to do that, then yes. Oh, yes. Great idea. Um, I did quite a bit of sailing back in my day. I learned all the knots needed. Well, what about your time as, I assume, a Girl Scout? <laughs> that, too. <laughs> all right, so is this the plan? Grab a vine, send it up with Silas and Robin to tie off? Don't laugh at that. Yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't laugh, Hope. Summer, like a great confidence. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'll remind you all that it's only 10 feet. So if you fall, you'll probably be OK. Yeah, really, it's really, I, could, I could potentially throw you 10 feet if I you I mean, like. I could climb on your shoulders and you kind of little do a crawl pull up, too. But uh, let's, do the rope, let's do the rope. No, but if you fall, I mean, don't be afraid. I, I appreciate you saying that, but I am only 5 feet. So that's, a, that's <laughs> double me right now. I mean, hey, you know, I've also seen uh, the history of Wakanda. And I know that the, you know, purple herb the can be like Wakanda. ground up mm -hmm. and make people oh. into, you know, the Black Panther possibly or something. But it feels so like in this scenario, it just, everything that's purple is bad and trying to kill us. I'll try well, it. But <laughs> don't, don't we hey, need to hey, do hey, like something try it. purple was in the other thing? I'll try it. I'm going to take some of the plant. I'm going to grind it up. I'm going <laughs> to pull out my fanny we pack. We have to do a ceremony. You have a mortar and that. pestle in your fanny yep. pack? I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, ooh, I'm just going to, this is a bad idea. <laughs> I'm going to eat some of the petals. Yes. No. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. I love it. Eat, like, take some of the petals off the plant and just eat them. The ones we killed? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah, you kind like of an hold them and, 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 and chew it. It's, like you it, do with like mint leaves. It's very sticky. Mm. And it kind of tries to start to make it hard for you to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your mouth mm. is no basically stuck together now. Mm. You also cannot do verbal spells. 
Mm-mm-mm. Well, I think Mm-mm. that it's the same thing. Mm. So at least we've confirmed that. It's mm-hmm. the same thing that was out there. This is Twice peanut butter plus. And also it's here. not bone. Mm. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. We, we know two things I about this right. plant. It must taste real good, though, because it keeps going, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. no. Well, mm-hmm. we know the solution to this is salt water, but there was water up top as well in the plants. Have you ever... Never, anyone, no one tried that water. We all just fell into the pit. Mm-hmm. You almost I fell got, in the pit. I got um, drug into the earth a little too quickly to make that happen. Mm. Sorry. Well, maybe this is how we cure uh, old Gloria here. So let's uh, pop up and fill with some water. All water. right. Yeah. Silas yeah. picks up Robin, who's holding the end of one of these sticky vines. You fly Silas, up as he's the going, is just like, I flew out of the pit. <laughs> I <laughs> flew out <laughs> of the pit. <laughs> <And> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes a little bit of work to kind of part the vines, but again, they're pretty elastic, so they kind of move and then squish around you as you pull yourselves up. You get up to the tree, please make a survival check, please, for trying you're not. Oh, I'm going to help check, Miss Okay, Robin West, add your wisdom. Um, you know, uh, just completely, no, I started to say mansplaining, but that's not going to help her. <laughs> so well, that would, that'll be a disadvantage. Yeah, we're going to say uh, that we are going to say, um, hey, um, I, you know, just saying that I saw this random YouTube video one time, <laughs> and they, they well, said that if you use you how that this kind, I don't know if this means anything to you, but if you use this kind, and he says something. Uh, that is actually accurate. Um, <laughs> and uh, but if you use this other kind, it will hold a little bit better. So yeah, so you, your your past knowledge, you you know, just from your years of watching uh, lots YouTube, lots and lots of videos. Um, yeah. You know, you you know this theoretically, yeah. um, and some of your theoretical knowledge. Yeah, but with your practical Robin's knowledge, Robin's practical maybe, knowledge, maybe it will actually. All right, what's your survival? Man, what's the like I don't know. It just adds your wisdom bonus. Well, that's a zero. <laughs> oh, so that's a zero. <laughs> Fantastic, Silas. You just described a Windsor knot on a tie. <laughs> But thank I, you. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes, add, add Silas's really zero to that role. This is why it matters who helps and Back how. Back in the day, dressed really sharply. <laughs> I used to wear suits when I was dealing with the mafia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a 21. It's a 21. Yeah, so nice. You tie an excellent knot despite Silas's distractions. <laughs> um, it is an excellent knot. You're very confident in it. Um, it you know, perfectly slides down. The rest of you can see it. It is indeed sticky and fairly easier to climb because of that. Um, I, as, as long as none of you have uh, you know, like strength scores of four, um, double check. <laughs> I, I don't think it's a four, but yeah. Ned is currently now holding eight, eight emotional support wall, yes. giving it a little bit of a stretch, going. Str- a, strength of, a strength score of eight and higher, I will accept as a... Okay, good. Okay, great. <laughs> you each individually make your way up. Some of you might take a little longer, because you're using one arm to hold the puppy in the other. And no, Silas, Silas, here. Take, yeah, take, take got it, and you, you just see the pup start to float. There you go. Know, <laughs> the puppy will float up. Others can give little boosts from And then as it's coming, Silas below. is going to be like, you're so cute. You're going to disappear, but you're so cute. <laughs> and, and, and he's just going to give you, like, a weird head tilt because this, this dog can understand you. Yeah. And so as soon as you say, you're going to disappear, you, you see a, hmm? Yeah, <laughs> but it'll be all right. I'm sure you go to a wonderful place no. when you're not here. All <laughs> dogs go to heaven, right? Aww. All dogs go to heaven. I, I will die on that hill. <laughs> <laughs> all dogs. Um, so yes, you all climb out individually with some help from others. You are able to make it up back on top. Um, now you're even kind of noticing the slight difference of the way the ground feels under your feet when it is these vines versus the actual ground. And I will allow Gloria, as you lead the party, you will be able to uh, navigate around any further areas like this. Do you want us to try to help with it? Like, you know, mm-hmm. do you want, I mean, like, what, what do you suggest? Can we play charades, maybe, an or? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a permanent. Not an axe. So. Don't listen to. Are we are we yes. up where the water is? You are. You can see the leaf. Um, you know the leaf. You notice are all over this vined area. Mm-hmm. Um, so they all seem to be somewhat related. I'm going to gonna assume I didn't get through my ritual. You did not get through your ritual. No. Well, there's no time, but maybe drink this water, <laughs> and it'll <laughs> help. How about not the purple one? But maybe not the purple one. There's a yellow one. You want that yes. one? You throw yellow water at Gloria's. <laughs> <laughs> so I, offer, I offer Gloria. <laughs> A little bit of water. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> We're in a hurry. Things to do. Okay. Wow. 
So you, you reach into this, this little water pool in there. You picked, you said, the yellow one? Mm -hmm. You pull it out. It is, it is again, sticky, almost like the substance oh that, no. you were, that was oh. down there. Um, as you bring it out, it, it you know, has a water like, but like nectar. It has that kind of nectary mm. thing. And you put it, it does begin to loosen. It oh. tastes very sort of sweet and lovely. And actually that, that feeling, oh, you didn't have it. You weren't, you weren't uh, pollenized. Uh, so yeah, um, mm. you are, yeah, it begins to slowly loosen your jaws of that peanut buttery, sticky quality. This one is delicious and my sinuses are <laughs> yeah. incredible. You could just, <laughs> just oh gosh. A, a, a nasonex in a leaf Ooh. right there, yeah. So how many other colors are there? Is it like, you know, getting into the jelly bellies or something and you just gotta. No, you're, I'll, I'll give you, you know, you're kind of, yeah, you're, you're like Roy G. Biv. Of, of <laughs> colors, right? Do, do we oh. think? Roy G. Biv, right? Do we, yeah. Yeah. Do we think me? this is just a a decoy plant so that other people or animals wander in and then get <laughs> down, or is this like a different plant that wants to help us? We won't know until we try. So what we need to dive under <laughs> the ground <laughs> again and see, hey, yellow plants, are you all nice? Or, is that what we're talking or, about? Or, like on a train, you could just wait while someone finishes their job. <laughs> I'm worried about y'all. Y'all, y'all, uh, you're smart. You, sh you should be worried and about dangerous. them. And dangerous. Stuff, stuff happens in the future. You, you pulled you out. You could have been real helpful with. You pulled out a puppy. You're a lawyer with an axe. You just float, and everyone's <laughs> fine with that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not fine with it. I kind of wish I could. Do that, I am more than fine with it. And you have more jobs than a dictionary. I'm so confused. <laughs> I've had a very long life. Yeah, very long. <laughs> a little very long life. Well, so everyone is going to step aside. Sure Gloria is going to lead you to the solid ground. Mm -hmm. Robin's going to finish her her ritual. Thank I you, Lord. So fantastic. Yes, all of these uh, little pools of leaves with the respective different colors lead down to the similar pits. These are bait. Um, these Hell little no. little See? pools of water are bait for the underground flowers. Oh. Um, if you had stayed any longer by that yellow flower, we'd have done this encounter again. <laughs> no. uh. Nope, I learned once. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all in favor of charging forward? forward? <laughs> all right. I'll go. Let's go. Are we still heading towards the mountain? Yes. Or do we want to alter course at this point? I think so. If they're trying to stop us from getting to the mountain, there has to be something there. Yeah. Do you think the plant life is stopping us? I think the island itself. Mm. What? Ooh. Ooh. The island itself. We're gonna run into or we it. fell into a dumb some point. plant pit trap we should avoid. The, the plants are a part of the island. Oh. I hope this ending is better than that, though. <laughs> When when she Ooh. says this, I'm going to like glare at the tree that's next to me and say, why are you trying to stop us? Why would you give it a chance to answer? <laughs> and, and yeah, I'm going to speak with the tree and all the plants You're that are speak nearby. Speak with tree. Tree. Uh, tree, again, you, you know, you get this. It's, it's, it's less like trees speaking English and more like you are speaking tree or understanding tree. It's almost like it, it moves in the breeze and the sort of whisper of the leaves ends up coming into your ears as something you can understand. And you just get the sense of survive. Mm -hmm. Well, we're doing that thanks to them, but like, why, why is every, why, why? Like, what's here on this? Wait, what, what did they say, ma'am? Like, the, 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 it was a spooky tree, and it was like, survive. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when you speak plant, what does it sound like? <laughs> It sounds like when there's wind chimes, oh. except the, the really low kind that are like made out of huge pieces of bamboo, which I can't really yeah. do because, <laughs> you know, it's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you know, what's, what's on this island that all the plants are trying to protect? Stone. Mm. Stone? Stone? They said stone? They stone, said stone. Yeah, stone. And survive, stone and survive. I mean, they can't yeah. just survive through photosynthesis like other plants. Well, I'm assuming they can. I'm asking about us. Mm. Okay, um, like the stone that we found back on the beach. Do you know about that stone on the beach, or is there somewhere yes. else? There. Yes, to the stone on the beach. <laughs> Ask the bird. Uh, any specifics? 
<laughs> Wait, we're talking about birds now? It's, it's telling me, so I'm getting a network here. Apparently, the tree doesn't know all the answers, but the tree might know the people who know the answers, and apparently that's a bird. So, well, is there like, like just any bird? You should look for the bird then. Well, what, 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 what do you have? Silas a floats up, and <laughs> <laughs> like looking for looking birds. For birds. <laughs> do, do you, uh, you see lots of birds. <laughs> do you have a, I know, like pat the bark uh -huh. a little bit now uh -huh. that I feel like at least the tree is trying to help the uh -huh. thing? Do you have like a specific friend bird that might be able to help? Polly. Does <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, anyone have any crackers? <laughs> uh, no. no. Why, why are you asking that? Uh, Apparently, there's a bird named Polly around here. Is there? I've got hey, some Polly! <laughs> Polly! How are you all? Are any of you named Polly? From I don't know if you can speak English. Far up at the English. top of the mountain, you hear. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's me. Oh my gosh! Did you hear that? No. It, it was just bird noises, but it was coming from the top of the mountain, yeah. right? I would like to hide. <laughs> <laughs> Stealth check, please. It, it sounded <laughs> like a parrot. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask the tree. Yes. Uh, that Polly, the one that just at us. <laughs> How do we know if it's really Polly, though? <laughs> That's an 18. Not <laughs> on my life. <laughs> Gloria disappears. Yeah. You watch as Neb, when the tree goes stands there in awe <laughs> of like a tree imitating a bird <laughs> to her. I, this is the best day of my life. I just want to talk to this tree for another why, nine why, minutes. What happened? What it, happened? It, I asked if it, it, that was Polly, and it it, it, it said, <laughs> but it sounded like those wind chimes, except when you hit them with a baseball bat. It's really cool. What? You Did hit you wind chimes with too? baseball bats? I mean, I, I had a friend who had, liked to do things on people's porches, and it was, it was, she was very like defecate. Did a friend or like to do things on people's porches. No, like no. she was, she was oh. a prankster, and she went a little too far. Um, okay, all right. Um, should we stay here? Uh, will Polly come to us, or should we go to Polly? Go to Polly. <laughs> all right. We, we, if Polly will not come to us, and we will go. Yeah, I mean, I just called out pretty loud, and I guess they heard me all the way across there to the top of the mountain, and they didn't come anywhere. They just pagawed, and and then yeah, so that's where we're headed. And we it, the pagaw was the top of the mountain. Yeah. Oh, Silas, right. I think you should be careful up there. Someone might try to shoot at you up there. It's just a thought. This is like not <laughs> that level of technology in this world. <laughs> Like there are no <laughs> firearms. Have you seen a firearm the first thing yet? That came to mind. I'm sorry. I've never had a dream like this before. And then a now bullet I know flashes that. out. Does anyone else want to ask the tree anything? <laughs> no. Um, I'm good. What do you yeah, think? I don't oh. find trees too interesting. Yeah, good, good for you. The tree hums the Jeopardy tune. <laughs> <laughs> you know Alex Trebek? <laughs> 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 Alex Trebark. This is a really Alex Trebark. You know, we were talking about how the island. I'm going. Until y'all, until y'all stop talking to trees <laughs> like people who smoke the devil's saying. lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm saying. And stop <laughs> yelling for birds that you don't know <laughs> in the middle of an island where plants try to eat us. Knows the Jeopardy theme. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk out yeah. from. We'll what walk out from the brush. What? Yeah, let's go. Pull out a pocket a dictionary, and as we're walking, self-preservation. <laughs> <laughs> the protection of one's <laughs> self from harm or death, especially regarded as basic instinct. You're getting in Human here? being. It's a, no, it's a pocket dictionary. <laughs> I, have a, I have a flip phone, Silas. <laughs> Of course you do. <laughs> you do have a flip phone. I've lived in New York City my whole life. All of my survival instincts involve the subway. Willingly? <laughs> well, no, I was born and raised there, so I guess no. Mm. You were born in the subway? You were born for the... <laughs> <laughs> in the caves, in the underground. <laughs> and a one, the and a two, subway. and we keep on moving. <laughs> okay. Let's really get this really train walk. going. Silas, I will tell you the story while we walk towards the mountain. mountain. <laughs> and and How she was born and raised in the subway. <laughs> Fantastic. Spin-off episode. <laughs> She's a mole person. <laughs> All right, fantastic. That's why I can talk to animals and trees. <laughs> Gloria is self-preserved. Gloria is sneaky. I got kids. She's got kids. Y'all are wild. <laughs> She's got to make it out of this dream. No. <laughs> so, 
Um, she guides you up the rest of the mountain, avoiding any of these vine flower pits. Um, you reach the top which is almost like a crater. So at one point, maybe this mountain was somewhat volcanous. Volcanous? Volcanous sounds like something in another <laughs> Vulcan. Uh, Volcanic. Volcanoous. Okay. Or volcanic. Volcanatus. I'm usually a very small, smart person. but I'm, I'm, Listen, if the DM I'm says a word, <laughs> the word the is word true. Is. You're making things up, Deb. <laughs> That's D&D. That's what, that's what it's volcanic. I hope so. <laughs> oh, boy. It is volcanic and volcanic at the same time. Um, so yes, you're up at the top. You get a really nice view. The, the ocean really is just a horizon all around you, but you can look down and see the arms of the atolls as they come around, uh, enclosing the lagoon. Um, here, in the center of this crater, is a um, sort of a, a ring of stones and sticks. On one of the larger rocks sits a parrot, a colorful tropical parrot. Um, inside this ring, and we can show the PDF now, please. Ooh. Visual aid. So we have a visual aid. They must I, think out. I think the phone fell asleep. Uh oh, uh oh. They're while they're figuring it out here. Oh, no. Uh oh. Just swipe. Swipe. Just swipe. No, not, no, that, not that way. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Yay. Swipe, swipe like you you see oh, between this yeah. inside this circle of ro rocks this That's parrot it. is perched on one of the larger rocks oh, yeah. um, there seems to be sort of golden um, plants creating lines as well as a spiral um, and dug into the earth are letters in English um, in each separate little space created by these lines. Uh, the parrot sits there on the edge and looks at you. Polly. 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 I'm you going to say yes. You are Hello. Polly. Did, I'm going to look at the bird. Did you do this? Uh-uh. <laughs> are you Polly? Polly. Can you express yourself otherwise duosyllabically or multi symbolically Polly smart. Polly smart. <laughs> yes, you are. I want to walk up to the bird. Yes. And I want to see if I put my hand out, if it'll come, like, sit on my hand. Oh, totally. Yes. It jumps right up bird. there. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Polly. I, we, we, this is a fun puzzle. Puzzle we have to solve. Yes. Puzzle fun. fun. Puzzle fun. Do you what? know the solution, Polly? Yeah. <laughs> Polly smart. Polly, give me a give me a hint, and I Silas point the bird not. towards the puzzle. Towards to see the puzzle, if, if it'll kind of fantastic. Give me an animal handling check. What? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't choose that. Little initiative. I rolled three. A three. You rolled a three. A three. Fantastic. <laughs> um, Polly goes fun puzzle, fun puzzle. Oh. You are can we, do it. Are we? <laughs> I. Hey everyone, I think we're spelling the word. Fun, <laughs> but there's no, no F. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else want to try with the bird? Uh, well, P Polly, what happens when we solve the puzzle? Go down, go down, inside. I mean, we've already gotten sucked into the earth once. This, this Maybe we don't want to go Pretty down, flower, yeah. pretty flower, pretty Polly, pretty Polly. No more pretty Ooh, flowers. You are very pretty. The weeds that we encountered before, no, those, those are bad. Wait, are you Polly? Polly, yes. <laughs> is, is Polly the same color as the flowers we've seen? Polly is, is a full-on like parrot with all of the different colors. Polly yeah. matches in with Alicia's Crocs, with Feruza's Crocs. <laughs> very <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Incredible. Super colorful, very quite big, Alice. You, you know, Al, you're, you're strong, but like you could feel the weight of this bird. The and if it extends its wings, it's a good like three, four feet across. It's a big bird. Silas is like flying over the yeah. letters <laughs> and he's just like reading things. He's like, yeah. okay, wait, this one says child no. <laughs> child hey, no. Gloria, this is child no. This probably applies. Um, and he's, he's just like also says calling things out. Trap. Trap. It's a trap. <laughs> I see crap, not trap. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of mean the same thing, right? Uh. <laughs> Polly goes, crap, trap, <laughs> crap. <laughs> it's a crap trap. All right. Let's see. Uh, hey, hey, Polly, yeah. when we solve this and we go down, what, what, 
What's down? What happens? Oh, the stone is kept in the deeps, underneath where the evil one sleeps. <gasps> okay. To find the way in, you will have to begin at the top of the mountainous steeps. Oh, God. It's a pretty bird, and it rhymes. It okay. knows whole sentences. I, Wait, did anybody get that? Because I was way too shocked <laughs> that it actually said full sentences. For a I think there's something that sleeps beneath the rock. That That's sounds bad. Yeah, it sounds That's very That's what bad. I got. Polly, do these things move at all? Um, because, ah, <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Could have just said yes. <laughs> Bert got so, so hear me out. If you're all still just trying to do a dream heist and put an idea in my head, if that's what's happening here, mm -hmm. we can't just stay in this dream world. It's not that bad. It's like a tropical paradise. It's not that bad. Well, I'm just saying, we just like attacked by flowers and acid, and well, we and just stay out of the woods. Just stay on the beach, and things will be great. We're in the, the bird right now, flies over to you, Silas, and perches on a on a. You're because you're flying too, yes. yes. So it flies sort of next to you, almost sort of hovering and making its way around as it circles you. Um, it sort of nudges over towards the the atoll where you saw the statue and uh, speaks to you. A powerful totem, you see. I'm sure you would not disagree. If you'd like to go home, better find the stone, or forever right here you will be. Oh, hell no, Gloria. <laughs> That's downright unsettling. Uh -huh. Wow. Can we coerce the bird to give us a clue? What? I want to be friends with this bird. Well, well, yes, but he can also help us. Did anyone have a cracker? I hear. Cracker. Cracker. Oh yes, I keep saltines. I in knew my it. Bag. I knew it. <laughs> Polly want a cracker. There you go. Bag crackers. <laughs> it comes over and eats about three of them as fast as it can. <laughs> <laughs> it can fully work. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Did, does that mean we get a clue? Find the way in. Find the way in. That's what a great clue. <laughs> I mean, you know what this reminds this reminds me of when Luke found Yoda when Yoda wasn't acting like Yoda in the swamp. Like I, something's going like I think that this bird knows more than it's letting on. I, there I is think, no try. I'm starting to feel like we shouldn't lean on this bird. Um, but I, the, I think we got a good clue maybe earlier with the thing about the totem and they keep saying about the stone. Yes. Um, I don't see one big stone here. I see lots of little stones. Maybe we take the stones and we spell out the word stone. Just a, I don't know, random idea. We've got an S, a T, O, N, and E. A couple of E's, though. Be confident. No? Al has a good <laughs> idea. It's worth a try. Sure. Um, I walk over and I try to place stones, and the S, the T, the O, the N. There's, there's two T's, and there's, two, there's a lot of, actually a lot of these, so I don't know. Um, I just, I don't know, I just picked Michelle, some. we can what? get it wrong. Okay. We got like an hour. <laughs> so, which, which, which if you're going to start with an S, right? Yeah, I'll so, start with an S, yeah. So you th are you th you're throwing these on like hopscotch? Uh, well, how big is the circle? Um, like yeah. 10 feet across. I walk it in myself. You walk in. Mm. You walk in, as you do, it's fine. It's mm. holding up. <laughs> you walk over towards the S and you drop a stone on the S. Mm -hmm. Then uh, which T do you want to walk to? Hmm, I'll take the T that's um, uh, in the top left. Okay, you walk over to that T. As you drop a stone on that T, mm -hmm. the whole thing withers. It turns like a dark brown. What? The grass responding to that stone. Was that a good thing? Uh, wi withering is typically not a good thing. I was going to say that, yeah, but maybe it's a hint. Well, but it didn't do that with the S, right? Right. So Throw one on the other ones near it. The other T? I don't know. Other letters. Like, see what, like, is, is the R going to do that too? And then Silas is like, without even thinking about it telekinetically, a stone is coming over okay. onto the R. Drops on the R? Yeah. Nothing happens. I'm going to do the same thing with the C. The C? Nothing happens. The H? The H, so Fruzzy, you drop it, you throw yes. a stone onto the H. He's like, okay, we're doing this then. It withers. Okay, what do we have here? We have a C and H. Z. Okay. Z. Put one on the E just to see if we get. It withers. <gasps> the one that's just below the H? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
what do we have so far? We have a T? No, we don't. Yes, you start with that T in the upper left-hand corner, okay. that withered. Then the H below it and the E below that have all withered. Mm. All right, so we're following the withering. We're not looking to avoid the withering. I probably. I mean, the withering yeah. is like if I was, this you know, probably. Sorry, a mad, <laughs> like, angry plant life, and I wanted to indicate a direction or something, oh. withering's a good way to do it. Oh, uh, Neb is going to walk uh -huh. over and put a stone on the W that's... It withers. Um, do we think this is the way? I'm going to oh. walk over to the A that's to the right of it and yep. drop a stone. Dun, dun, it dun, withers. Dun, 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 dun. It withers, yes. Dun, dun, dun. And I'm going to walk to the Y. Dun, 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 dun. It withers. <gasps> I don't know where to go from here. I. The way. Well, it's in. the way. Those yeah. Yeah. In. Yeah. Out. Do we have an out? No. no, but we have an in. I'll follow directions. Yeah, the I. I. The I withers. <gasps> and then the N. I knew you guys could do it. Deborah, so Deborah, I need you to know, nice. why do you think I got so quiet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I knew you could. Um, so you drop a last one on the end? I will, I will even grab my special <gasps> rock out of my, my pocket and kind of be like, thank you drop it down. Okay. Yes, hopscotch <laughs> word puzzle. Um, you drop your stone. As it lands on that end, this one withers and drops away. Oh, your wait. stone falls oh. down oh. into the depths <laughs> below. No. Oh. Oh. Terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> you better go I get mean, your that's, stone. That's Neb in a sentence, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. um, okay. From down below, you can smell hot earth. It is hot and damp down in this sort of, even a little bit of smoke sort of seems to rise up out of here as if it were steaming down beneath. Um, there is only a little bit of a glint of reflection of something about 40 feet down. Polly! Robin. Polly's still flying around <laughs> up here. What? Robin will, uh, if we're all looking down, is yes. that correct? Um, Robin will, will be like, you know, back when I was a caver and a <laughs> spelunker, we used to have these lights that would just, and these three glowing orbs of light yes. appear and begin to float down to the bottom. Fantastic. Um, they float down into this space silently. You can see it's quite a large cave beneath this sort of little hole that you've opened up. Um, the actual chute, however, is, is narrow. There's almost like a, like a water slide kind mm -hmm. of tube that goes down into this larger cave beyond. So you're only seeing through this one little eye hole of it, but you quite clearly see the glint of gold in your lights. Gold, anybody? Mm. I don't care. I have bunches of money. <laughs> bunches. <laughs> bunches. 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 Land thieving is very, uh, <laughs> if you watch the show, that's my favorite joke. He's a land thief. Uh, oh. Is the bird still flying overhead? Yeah, Polly's there. Uh, so you said we got to go down. Anything else you want to tell us before we go down? Um, is, it, is there might be something else I want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I would say as well, the Bird did mention a sleeping evil. Now it might be a metaphor that gold is in fact a sleeping evil, or something <laughs> is sleeping on top of the gold. Yeah, yeah, the bird. She's 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 done what she's gonna do for now. Don't okay. say it like that. <laughs> so what we need is underneath this thing that sleeps. I think that's what and I maybe remember. We go sleeping in evil. Quiet sleeping like. evil. Yeah. We go in quiet like and don't wake the baby, and then we get whatever's under it, like Bagginses did back in the day. Now mm. I know where this dream came from. Okay, this makes <laughs> way more sense. Thank you. We are in Silas's dream, so. Like okay, I said, great. I didn't build the level. Well, does anyone know how to be, you know, is there a way to be a little more stealthy I'm about this? I'm super loud pretty much all the time. I all right. Not it's all the D20s in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> they just rattle. Uh, you know, Neb? <laughs> I mean, you've seen me move around. Do I look very stealthy to you? But she's still petting her dog. No. Oh. And she'll say, but, I mean, wolves usually are pretty stealthy. How, she'll hold the dog up. <laughs> How do you feel about being a scout? <laughs> well, what if it disappears in the middle of this? 
well, it's going to go down into the thing, and then yeah, we probably won't see it. So and you can communicate with it. We just won't get a report it. back. So I'm saying. Yeah. So go, go take a look, and if it's safe to at least go down, give it, give us a wag, and if it's not safe to go down, then then give us a no, okay? <laughs> and that if, dog's nervous. Because it okay. understands me. Yes. <laughs> I will gently put it in front of the chute, and puppy will go down. Puppy on all fours just sort of slides in the dirt, <laughs> you know, it's going all the way down as it starts to kind of try to stop itself and it kind of comes to a rest at the bottom, slides into some of the coins. Tinkle, 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 tinkle. Um, is it making a stealth check for me? It, it, you've instructed it to be stealthy? Uh, I've instructed it to be, yeah. Go ahead and make uh, a stealth uh, check. It will do its best. My dog must be, okay, because it actually has a dexterity, unlike me, who has nothing. <laughs> uh, actually, it's, well, it's got at least no, no subtraction. Um, 14. A 14. Um, okay, it disappears out of the sight of the little I eye hole you. that you're looking at. No, well, it leaves the... <laughs> You know the the your vision as it's you know steps out of that way. Give me a perception check for your puppy. Okay. And you can do it with advantage because he's got scent stuff going on. So okay. I'm gonna give it to. Him. Oh, that's a natural twenty for hey. twenty-two. Wow. Can't do any better than that. Um, yes, my puppy is very perceptive. <laughs> your puppy is gone for about thirty seconds. Before it runs back into this little space where you can see it, um, and you can see it's trying to kind of shake its head no, but it's also kind of <laughs> shaking a little bit, okay. you know, <laughs> trying not, trying to be stealthy as it kind of holds itself. It tries to maybe climb back up a little bit, but the, the rocks and the soil's too loose, and it sort of slides back down again and tries to climb. <laughs> I wish it would just slide I back down a little. I am so upset with you. <laughs> I go down. <laughs> you go, say, Gloria goes. Yeah. I'm going with you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, it's technically not a puppy. We just keep calling it. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know. No, as soon as I see that, if, if you start to go, because Nebby's going to be like, okay, okay. And then you go, and I'm like, here we go. All but right. Everybody, yeah. real quiet. You stealth, literally stealth old checks. yellered yeah. this stealth. animal. <laughs> <laughs> stealth yeah. checks from both of you as you slide down. Oh. I rolled a 19, so it's an 18. An 18? Mm. Eight. Eight. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, no. Gloria, uh, you go first. Mm -hmm. um, as you slide down, you're, you're dislodging some of the dirt at the side. As it tumbles down with you, it makes kind of a clattering noise. Uh, as you come out the bottom, uh, you know, you see the puppy right there and sort of step to the side. As Neb, you kind of pull your arms in and, and make less noise as you slide through this, this water tube. It's not a water tube, dirt tube. Um, <laughs> and uh, come out and step to the side. Um, what the two of you see as you get down there is your dancing lights are still in this area. Um, is a massive pile of gold and jewels. Anything that you can imagine uh, an adventuring party would have or want is just filling this room. Um, it just sparkles off of this dancing light. And do we see like the sides of the cavern? Yep, you can see the sides. And is there any other exits? Uh, n not at first glance, no, not obviously, no. Uh, the puppy runs between your legs, Neb, and you can feel it sort of shivering against you. Um, I will stage whisper to the dog. <laughs> like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, walk in the direction that scared you, so, because I don't. <laughs> what? So what an owner! It can't talk to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> can you can you point in the direction? Can, can you be a pointer dog for a moment? Point in the direction of the scary thing. So this adorable you know? little purple blue wolf, um, <laughs> you know, does the little <laughs> pointer thing and seems to be pointing kind of at the opposite end, up kind of a a, a, a hill of gold coins. Um, and as you're looking up there, though, you just don't see anything. It just looks like gold, but whatever it's sort of pointing at, you can see it still shivering in fear. I'll just kind of look over at you and point in that direction and shrug and then look back up the tube <laughs> and look at all of you. You just see heads like <laughs> yeah. looking down at you. No? Silhouettes of heads. I, I, I'll go last. 
Oh. Y'all, y'all can, y'all can I'll go. go. All right, we'll some go. quick stealth checks All from right. you guys as am you slide I, in. Yes, am I able to help provide them advantage by like being at the bottom to like catch yes. them and bring them down so they don't like stumble or anything? I love that very much. Uh, yes, advantage on those stealth checks. Oh, advantage. Right. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Uh, I think we're all coming, that, right? Yep. Yeah. I will face in the opposite direction. <laughs> Eyes and ears on the corner that has yes. freaked out gotcha. the wolf. Do you want to give me a perception check for that? I, I would love to. Go ahead. Um, what are our stealths? 14. A seven with advantage. I'm doing so good. <laughs> the 14, Faruza? Eight. Eight with advantage. Yeah, with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're killing it. All you right. are. Yeah. Sneak into um, the where the evil one sleeps. Yes, yeah, <laughs> 17. And make as much noise. A 17? All right, so is that your, um, that was your stealth? Yes. That was your stealth. Okay. So w- w- some of you make some noise, some of you don't. Um, as you, you know, come out the bottom, uh, maybe Gloria misses a little bit and you slide too far. Mm. The, the gold sort of slides down a little bit. Well, and your perception, Ned? I got a 26. Ooh. It's almost a nat 20. As you notice, you know, as some of your noisier friends uh, come down and sort of start to make the, uh, the, 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 make it rain. (laughs) 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 Uh (laughs) Um, You notice a tiny bit of movement up at the top of this pile, Um, almost like the flick of a tail, but it all appears to be gold, and then it disappears almost as if it's, slinked down into the coins themselves. Is everyone down at this point? Point? Mm-hmm. Everyone is down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, once again, stage whispering. I'm going to point in that direction and say, there's something under the gold. That's what? 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 It, What's under the gold? I, it looked like, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking about that whole, you know, Baggins's thing, but it looked like a tail. Hey. So there might be just a reminder, we did get a big hint that there was an evil one down here, and I would love to, for some reason, I think this quest is to get a rock <laughs> or a stone <laughs> and not reason. play with the evil one, so if we can just avoid that and just go oh. and find a rock. I, I totally agree. Mm-hmm. That's, that's why I am very quietly telling everybody about what's happening. Okay, in that yeah, court. so not, no, no. not touch that. Uh, no touching. Great. I don't, no, I think that's not a touch. I, I don't want to touch any of this. Oh, but we're, we're, we're looking for a stone, stone right? right? Maybe we just... Look around. I mean, is it just one stone, or is it more than one? I think just one for that thing, right? For the thing with the eyes. I would really hate to be down here and get one stone, and then go back, and we needed a lot of stones, and have to come (laughs) back here. Are we sure it's one stone? And it's at that point that Neb looks down and sees her rock, because she has that weird ability to just kind of find it wherever... It was sitting right at your feet. Uh, I don't think this is the stone we need to find. But, but maybe that's a stone and we've had it all along. Like, <laughs> it like in friendship. You're if it was in us all along, we that had the answer. That would be really frustrating. You guys, this is going to be like finding a stone in a gold stack. I mean, what do we do? <laughs> yes, with a deathly animal underneath, just like it. This As you Scourge say that, Perusa, with your seven or your eight <laughs> year old, uh, you, your stage whisper is so much worse than everyone else's. Um, it is... <laughs> uh, Echoing off the walls, not even sure quite where to um, uh, 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 pinpoint where the sound is coming from, as if out of a movie you hear, Who disturbs my slumber? Okay, this might have been my fault. <laughs> I say that out loud? Yeah, I do. do. I do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I did say it out loud. <laughs> I just go... I try to throw my voice. I don't have that ability. That's okay. not in my character You're background. Just attempting it. I yeah. try to throw my voice, and yeah. I just go, Polly. <laughs> <laughs> Blame the bird. <laughs> Polly, do you bring gifts or woe? <laughs> Polly. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a challenge? <laughs> do we all hear this? Yeah, okay. I just look desperately at the rest of the team <laughs> here and go. Whoever thou art, we bring whoa. Mm. <laughs> gifts, gifts, gifts. <laughs> we bring gifts. <laughs> well, which is it? <laughs> whoa. No, gifts. 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 So much. So much whoa. gifts. Polly. <laughs> 
Whoa, as far as thou. Also Whoa, Polly. look at all those gifts. All right. Okay. I'd like a persuasion from Robin and a deception from. Unless, I am not deceiving. You're not deceiving. There is real woe. Now. Then a, an intimidation <laughs> from Silas, please. A persuasion and an intimidation. Persuasion. I guess that's true. You're you're not lying. We're so good at this. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What is your persuasion? It's a nat one. It's a nat one. <laughs> you say <laughs> gifts in the most terrifying voice. Gifts. Gifts. <laughs> gifts. <laughs> yes, and there's a little evil laugh that squeaks out. It's supposed to be nervous, but it sounds evil. Um, that is a 16. That is this. okay. So a one for gifts and a 16 for woe. That feels accurate. Fantastic. Um, uh, it, it growls. <sighs> the souls of those who challenge me remain as guardians. Prepare. Um, I mean, it doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> <laughs> the souls of those who bother me remain as guardians. I mean, why does it have to be a challenge? Why can't we do a trade? Gifts. Right. Uh, gifts. Do, you, do you have a specific thing? I mean, obviously, you don't need any more gold, so. Always more gold. Oh. Uh, how much gold do you need for us to avoid the woe that is certainly coming thine way? <laughs> um, at this moment, almost directly in front of you, bursting out oh. of the gold, is an enormously long, thick, snake-like creature. It seems to be gold-plated so that it blends in perfectly with the scales, its scales sort of blending in with the coins around it. As it bursts, it has sort of the head of a dragon, but a long, scaled, snake-like body. Um, as it does, it bursts out and it says, too late. <laughs> it curls around, biting its own tail, mm. almost as if it's swallowing its own tail to form a ring as it begins to roll down the steepness towards each of you. I need everyone to Oof. please make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. Oh, oh sorry. Under the first tab. Oh, okay. That didn't sound sincere. That's so exciting. Super. All right, dexterity saving throw. 18. 18. You jump out of the way. You take 15 damage, however, as it swipes past you, bludgeoning damage, knocking you to the side. Silas. 26. 26. Um, you also jump out of the side, out of the way. However, you still take the 15 damage. We'll get in a minute if this kills people. <laughs> Feruza. I got 19. A 19. You jump to the side. You still take the 15 as it sideswipes you. Neb. <laughs> So the dog got an 11. Dog got an 11. Dog is squished and gone. Uh, I only got a one, which means I got a zero. <laughs> you are squished and take 29 bludgeoning damage as it slams into you and the puppy. The puppy immediately disappears. It especially disappears because Neb goes unconscious and is not... We will come back to the unconsciousness. Gloria. <laughs> also a 19. A 19. You jump to the side. You take 15 bludgeoning damage as it side swipes. Al. Five. A five. You get smushed along with Neb and the puppy. You take 29 points of bludgeoning damage. Hi. Who here <laughs> is still standing? All right. Neb and Al, you are unconscious, lying on the ground amongst all of this gold coinage as the ring of it swirls past you and it uncoils itself up on top of the, uh, the, the pile of gold, looking down at all of you. We are now in initiative oh. for this. Please Some roll. of us are. Uh, <laughs> those of you who are dying, uh, also please roll initiative. Okay. We'll just determine where that all happens. I have to do this. All right. Robin. Nat 20 for a 25. Woo! Robin up first. Good job. Silas. 18. 18 for Silas. And we have uh, Feruza. I also got an 18, so what's your dex? Um, 16. Uh, oh, you're your, plus. Your modifier. Yeah, oh, uh, okay, yeah, you're plus modifier. Three. Yeah. Okay, you're both. You're so Silas and Feruza, yeah, okay. Then 18. Neb. 
Seven. Seven. We'll find out you're, you're dying on seven. Great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Gloria. Nineteen. A nineteen for Gloria. And Al. Fourteen. A fourteen for Al. Okay. We'll find out if you're dying on fourteen. Yay. <laughs> You're um, scary, DM. I, I love, I love it. It's all about tension. If it right? makes you feel any better, find some things out. this wouldn't be a game of children of verite if Neb didn't almost die. Oh, that's true. Uh, that's, 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 right. how, that's how children of verite. Welcome to that very exclusive club, Al. <laughs> <laughs> join, join me. All right, we are starting with Robin. Uh, Robin, just jumping into action, runs over to Gloria, puts a hand, and says, "It's just like the movie." Make haste, and I cast haste on you. Oh. What does that give Gloria? So, um, until the spell ends, the target speed is doubled. You get a plus two bonus to your AC. It has advantage on dexterity saving throws, and it gains an additional action on each of its wow. turns. Wow! Oh. Go forth and destroy. Gloria literally pulls out like a flask of espresso and just. <laughs> 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 if Ooh. only you'd taken that before. <laughs> 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 It didn't oh. taste as good before. It did not taste as good before. All right, Robin, anything else? Uh, and then Robin is going to uh, use her movement to kind of back as far away. Yes. Um, just to kind of get into safety zone because I don't need to be close to anything. Okay. Um, you've stepped back basically towards that, the opening to that dirt tube um, okay. is kind of the farthest away from the main pile that you can be. Okay. All right, fantastic. It. As you do that, you look off to the side and you see this spectrally sort of bluish, purplish light begin to rise up out of the gold coins, um, and you see a small bearded creature that has a little dagger. It's a little ghosty daggery creature, and it looks at you and goes, ha ah. <laughs> <laughs> As its jaw opens fairly wide, and it begins to float through the air towards you, Robin. Oh, boy. I have so many papers. I'm excited, I'm excited for a moment that this is like helpful little spirit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it reaches out a hand. As if it's going to touch you. I've seen gremlins. That is a dirty 20 to hit you. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Ooh, dear. That is 11 necrotic. Oh my mm. god. Uh -oh. Okay. As it touches you and it almost sort of moves through your body, the ch chill that runs up through your spine as you feel a little bit of your life force die as this ghostly thing touches your soul. Um, it is now the evil thing's turn. It sort of, sort of haunts it, you know, like a cobra. It can kind of like use its scales and the muscles beneath to pull, you know, pull itself up as it uh, looks at all of you and says, Who dares to disturb Surla the Great Nordworm? Nod, sorry, Nordworm. <laughs> uh, it, um, at that point, yeah, uh, it's gonna <laughs> slither straight down towards, oh, who was down in there? Um, I mean, Gloria <laughs> wants it, look at that. She does, <laughs> who, who deserves me? A single mom, what you got? <laughs> Gloria, it's coming your way. It slithers down and with its mouth attempts to, to, to take a bite out of you. Mm -hmm. um, that is gonna be a 27. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> you take. 11 piercing damage. All right. Ooh. Um, as it bites down its tail, ricochets around coming towards you, Feruza, as it's going to try to swipe at the back of you with its tail. Uh, that is also 27. Oh, you got a 27. I got a 27. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that, that kind of hits, sort of. <laughs> you take seven bludgeoning damage as this thing whacks you in the back and flies. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm going to turn the table over. And pulls back away. That is Surla's turn. Gloria. Uh, this thing is bit down onto <laughs> your shoulder and one arm, sort of kind of biting with its flesh. It's released you, but mm. boy, it has taken a good chomp out of your side. I've dealt with exes worse than you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and then Surla goes, <laughs> in your dreams, honey. Baby, you're not even a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this Woo! rage comes over her. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna take six psychic damage <laughs> on that. Please roll a d6 for me. Roll this, a this anger and rage comes over her. 
she pulls out that nightstick again and she is she's feeling reckless she's got yes. her morning coffee they're messing with her babies yes. she's got to get back home or else she's going to miss gray's anatomy that is right <laughs> that is right so that is a 21 to hit that'll hit so that is 14 points of bludgeoning damage Ooh. on the first one boom second one that is 25 to hit. That'll hit. For 11 more points of bludgeoning damage. And then the last strike, because it'd be a Action, hasted, action, yep. That is 19 to hit. Ooh, that'll hit. For 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. Wow. All right. I just want to say that is 37 points of damage on one turn. <laughs> you're uh, no actually, Carl, no, I'm going to take that back. You're no Jacob. You got nothing, baby. Right. 43 points of damage for Sass. <laughs> um, fantastic. Um, you, your, is this your baton? You yes, know, it your is. Thing? Okay. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You conduct the crap mm. <laughs> out of this <laughs> attack here. Um, as he slices through, finding all of the weak points in the, the scale that you can see, um, um, you know, slicing right and left, as well as your words that just seem to, you know, enrage and also crumble this thing all at once. You will remember um, my name. It is glorious glory, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and you shall rue the day you met Serla, <laughs> the Nodworm. The only rue I got is my baby girl. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Is that all? Can this be Gloria. the rest of the game, right? Yeah. I, I need you to know Gloria is just my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I forfeit my turns. <laughs> is that all, Gloria? Yes, it is. All right, Silas, it is your turn now. All right. Um, I guess I won't forfeit because we'll probably be stuck in a loop for a long time there. Um, <laughs> so um, with, with this right now, yes. do we see a um, little strange creature that just... Oh yeah, I mean okay. you. I mean you can. It's 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 fully visible. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't uh, just in her head or something. No, no, okay. not in her head. You and see, you say it. You like okay. reach for it. And then grab her. this uh, worm with yep. a Y um, yes. is worm. Uh, worm. coming. Where where is it positionally right now? Uh, right now it's on top of Gloria. <laughs> okay, got it. All right, so um, Silas um, is going to uh, kind of fly up. Uh, you know, how, how, how big is the space? About 40 feet by 40 feet. Yeah, okay, feet so I'm, I'm flying up about 20 feet, just yeah. uh, out of reach. And then um, you're going to see, uh, Silas is going to say, all right, here you go. Don't fail me now. You got me through so many weird times. And, and you see that he kind of reaches his hand out, and then you see uh, materialize out of thin air. Again, it's kind of green and spectral for just a second, mm. but then it solidifies. And uh, you say, oh, laddie. Here's me gold, and you see a a duck with uh, you know uh, spectacles and a nice blue uh, you know out, blue and red outfit, gotcha. and uh, come here, laddie, and just starts wailing at the thing um, at at this worm, and that is going to be oh that is only a uh, let's see that's a nine to hit. A nine to hit is not going to hit. Okay, but it it stays there and it's just. I, I'll get at you, and, and it just it keep, <laughs> keeps going on. And uh, then Silas is going to say, "All right, that didn't work yet." And then he's like, "All right, I'm gonna try this." And he reaches out his hand, touches his forehead, and you see some pink energy, um, very '90s comics, just yes. blast out of his head. Does it say "pow"? Actually, on this one, yeah. it, it, it's just kind of like a a sizzle. Like it says sizzle, and so it just like psychic energy uh, blasts out, and it needs to make an intelligent saving throw of 16. It's a natural 20. <laughs> silvery, silvery barb. Please roll with real silvery barb. Yes. Silvery barb. Yay. Fantastic. How does that look when you cast it? Oh, uh, who me? Yeah. Uh, Robin, who just takes this necrotic damage, just says, "Not this time, Mister." <laughs> I'm a lady. Oh, my <laughs> apologies. I'm a lady worm. <laughs> he, him, that what about everybody else? Yeah, that's better. Um, what, do I, what do you need? What do I need to get? 16. A 16? Intelligence. 
Intelli oh, intelligence. Yes. <gasps> That's a 14. Okay. <gasps> All right, so it's going to deal. I was about deal. to say, if it was, if it was wisdom, I was going to get you beat, but. Um, that's going to do uh, 12 points of psychic damage. However, uh, it now on its next turn, yep. it has to choose whether it gets a move, an action, or a bonus action. It only gets one of those. Oh, oh boy. Yay. And um, so, yeah, just gets one of those and it has to choose. And I'm giving the advantage from Silvery Barbs to Owl. Owl yeah. has no, advantage. I'm dead. Yeah. Almost there. I'm just, I'm, I'm just sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, Silas, anything else? Yeah, that's it. As, as the mind whip uh, kind of takes yeah. root there, um, Silas uh, just uh, telepathically through that link is going to say, he's after your gold. <laughs> <laughs> No one gets my gold, she says. Um, all right, uh, we're up to Feruza. Yes, okay, so Feruza sees DC taking a nap. Silas is Ashman, <laughs> Robin. Um, and she's just going, I mean, she has this sort of synergy with Gloria, like she's Did feeling she? it, like yeah. she feels yeah. like, you know, yes. you know, she may not, you know, I may not have any X's, but I've got my butt whipped plenty of times <laughs> by my mom. You don't need X's you when you've got axes. Yes. yes, thank you. <laughs> I got Same you, wavelength. I got I was you. right there. <laughs> and she's going to stand up and she's going to go, I don't know who you are, Zola. Zerla. Zoli? Zerla. Zap, Christopher. I don't know who you are. <laughs> but I am not one of your fans. <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to choose to attack recklessly. And you guys have yes. seen her. She just looks bigger yes. than she's ever looked. And you guys only, <laughs> have only known her for like a day, but she looks definitely bigger. <laughs> Here for it. Her hair is flying, and she's going to reach down. This one my mom taught me. <gasps> Take off that clog. <laughs> the chunk. The crock. Oh. It's a plastic. Yeah, it's a crock yeah. clog. Yeah. I was always a good kid. That, mm -mm. I'm using giant shavak because it'll bling. It's gonna be a ranged, literally a ranged weapon, and I can actually add my your strength melee. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Melee. Everything. Everything from a melee attack gets applied to my ranged attack. Go for it. I'm Throw that crock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> create create the rainbow oh, that lands in the pot of gold. Ooh, nice. What'd you get? Right. Be plus, so 20, it's gonna 24. Be 24. 24. Woo! 9 plus 2 plus 2. Easy hit. Yeah. Easy hit. 13. Boom. So Boom. What's, the, yeah, what's the what's the damage? 13. 13 damage? Yeah. Fantastic. So sorry, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. This cross again, it flies through here, making an arc of <laughs> rainbow <laughs> over the gold. <laughs> And then Thank Silas you. illusions, the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, and it flies through the sky, Stop. and your little, your little, hello, laddie, kind of looks up, ooh, you know, as it goes around. Um, and it smacks you know. <laughs> much harder than a, a, a plastic rubber shoe should um, yeah. into the side of this, this, uh, this creature. Um, smack reverberates through, if even Silas could, you know, you know, the, the word shows up. Smack. Um, and it, it, it turns like, again, the, the piece of its snake body kind of moves to the side as it's pushed by the force of that smack. Anything else? Yeah, I have bad news. There's another one coming. Oh! oh. Yeah. Yes! yes. <laughs> they come in I pairs. <laughs> Gone. A double rainbow. <laughs> 11. 11 to hit. This one unfortunately drops short. Um, we knew it was coming now. The first clog came and it, no. <laughs> and a, a, as Silas sees it, it's going like wide. Um, he's going to illusion, less is more. <laughs> <laughs> um, as it goes aside, it says, nice try. Um, as it unfortunately falls to the side. Anything else, Feruza? Mm, that's it for me. That's it for you. All right. Um, another of these ghostly forms flies up out of the gold. This one appears to be a medieval knight, completely head to toe, covered in, uh, in, in armor. You can't even tell what this thing is beneath it. Um, and it begins to <laughs> Now, of course, it is floating, but it does this motion as, <laughs> it, <laughs> as it sort of lumbers forward towards Gloria. Yeah. Um, Gloria, <laughs> it also goes as it sort of reaches out towards you. Love it. With a 24 to hit. That hits. That'll hit. 
12 necrotic damage. Mm. Still up? Yeah. Okay. Um, as you feel a little bit of your soul die, yeah. but you know, you've got internal armor, I'm pretty I sure. I have kids. <laughs> Got a whole lot of soul. Yeah, yeah that's lot. true. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, and it, it sort of stands there with its, you know, <laughs> arm out, uh, pulling from your life force. Um, that is it. its turn. Al, please make a death saving throw. Yay! Does she get to do this at advantage? Sure. Uh, I, I do, but I actually rolled a thirteen on the first one. Yeah, no, oh. Okay. I might get a twenty. You're right. You might get a twenty. Yeah. Right. <gasps> these dice. Uh, with the ten. So thirteen. It's ten. It is. So thirteen. <laughs> so that is a success Kay. on one of Al's. Uh, all of you look over and you can see Al take <gasps> one little breath, <laughs> and then I kind of scratch my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> <Knock back over. laughs> um, all right. That is it for Al. Neb, please make a death saving throw. Uh, That's a 15, okay. Her you also, face, yeah. Her face rolls over and she just got like coins yep. stuck <laughs> there in the, in the edge. Still. Absolutely. Um, and again, just a little sniff or something. Uh, maybe scratch your ear <laughs> like a puppy. Uh, just a little sign that you are, you are still clinging to life. Um, all right, Robin, we're back up to you. Oh boy. Uh, this creature next to me. Yes. Um, Ghostly, small, bearded creature. Robin quickly pulls I'll out. Touch your soul. <laughs> Robin quickly pulls out like a napkin from her bag, yes. and she says, "I was once a magician's assistant, <laughs> oh. and I'm going to make you disappear." And she's going to put the napkin over top of it, draping it, and it's just going to disappear, <laughs> and it's going to appear 30 feet in a different area away from everyone. <laughs> it needs to make a uh, con 14 save. Hopefully that works. <laughs> oh, that's a big old fail. <laughs> <laughs> this napkin falls down. As it does, it's almost like it just like disappears. It falls to the ground, and then it re like scans up on top of the mountain <laughs> as far away as it can be. Up there, you just hear a drat. <laughs> um, and then, um, uh, okay, and then I can do a, uh, I can do a cantrip, right? Um, okay, and then. Um, You'll just see, uh, ooh, I must make sure that that's a instantaneous. Okay. Uh, and then she's just going to turn to, how far is that range? Okay, 100 feet. And from this distance, uh -huh. she's just going to be like, oh, you forgot something, and firebolt it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so it needs, oh, to, no. it needs to make, oh, do I make a range attack? Cool. Range attack. 18 plus 6, 20 something. 20 something. That'll hit. That'll <laughs> absolutely hit. Four. Give me your damage. Four, thank you. And then the damage is a two. What does that say? Two d ten. Where's my tens? Is this a ten? That's a twelve. Uh, or is that a ten? Just roll the twelves. You never know. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is a thirteen points of fire 13 damage. Thirteen points of fire damage. Fantastic. Um, yes. As it hits, psst, and he kind of shakes. As it you know goes out to the smoke, but it's still absolutely uh, you can see the ectoplasm dripping off of it <laughs> onto the coins okay. below. That's it for me. Anything? Okay, we're done with you. It is its turn. Um, it goes, oh yeah, and uh, <laughs> looks straight at you. It only gets to do one thing. It only gets. This is. What did, did you cast this on Surla? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you're talking about the little. This little is the creature. little. This is a little okay. ghosty guy. Proceed. Uh, little ghosty guy. Um, he says, "Oh yeah," and he's gonna zoom <laughs> straight towards your open mouth. Oh Whoa. no! Please Hell make no. a charisma saving throw. Wow. Wait a second. What's my charisma? I don't think it's very good. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'll try to under. I disagree. Oh shucks. Okay, I get a plus one. Uh, that's a nine. It flies inside of your mouth and possesses your oh. body. <laughs> you are now no, this little creature. creature. <laughs> um, <laughs> you have no control over yourself as Robin, although you are aware of what is happening. You can do nothing about it. You must now please play as what I have li listed as small bearded rogue ghost. Oh, um, get it. <laughs> you have all of your things that you can do, but you are now on Team Surla. Ooh. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let me double check how you can get out of this. That's okay. I just got to put it down first. <laughs> All right. There's a couple hey, of ways. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's just a dream. There's a, <laughs> there's a couple of ways this ends, but as of now, you are. Sweet. You do you, but you are little bearded ghost. 
<laughs> All right, fantastic. That is its turn. It is now Surla's turn. Um, Surla is very angry about what is going on down here. Gloria, you are the real uh, problem That's for <laughs> Surla. Jeal jealousy cool. is a bad look, Surla. <laughs> Um, Surla says, you will make an excellent guardian. Mm -hmm. um, as that mouth is going to come down to bite once again. Oh, I'm rolling so well. Mm -hmm. That is fun. a 31 yeah. to hit. Yeah, it hits. <laughs> it hits. <laughs> Happy about that. And don't forget about your plus two to your AC. Oh, <laughs> 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 that is nine piercing damage. Incredible. Um, as uh, she bites, the tail once again whips around. Uh, this time the tail's going to go after Silas. Does she get to do this? Oh, yeah. oh she does action. one action. She does. It's a multi-attack. Okay. But it will be disadvantaged because my ancestral guardians <gasps> give you disadvantage on attacking anyway. It's like my grandmother reaches out, baby, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> you got it. Disadvantaged tail. That's probably going to be it. Yeah, that was a natural 20 or a 4. Wow. Oh, thank you to the wonderful. ancestors. Yeah, they get it. Thank, thank you, Grandma. You ancestors. I appreciate it, Grandma. Okay. Um, however, that 4 is still going to be a 28. Oh, my Why? God. Well, I will say as well, you have resistance against this because okay. of it when they hit you still. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. yeah they know. 28 yeah, still going to well, hit. Yeah, that's okay. going to hit. Fantastic, but you have 20. resistance. Is a 28 going to hit you? <laughs> The answer is always to yes. a thirteen bludgeoning damage. Uh, to a thirteen. 13. So it was no, that a, reduced a, a, or it's reduced by half because you have resistance. Oh, so you're a, a, a seven. Got it. Got it. Okay. Seven bludgeoning <laughs> damage on that from that tail that whacks into your back. Okay. Um, that is her turn. Gloria, you are up. I have a date with a flight attendant, and I'm still stuck here. <laughs> okay. Look, don't don't worry about that gossips. <laughs> But I'm sick and tired of this snake woman who wishes she could be me, <laughs> who, who literally has to take people out to get them to stay. <laughs> Desperation is a bad look, so I'm just going reckless. I'm upset. That is a 25 to hit that on the first one. That will absolutely hit. Uh, oh, Lord. That is 17 points of bludgeoning Seven damage points. on the first strike. Second one, that is a 21 to hit. Ooh, that'll hit. Oh my God! Um, yeah. That is a 16 bludgeoning Woo. damage. Bless your grandma. And the last strike. <laughs> 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 well, that's going to hit, but I gotta. Okay, so that's another 25 to hit. Mm -hmm. Hits for another Don't 10 go points. Don't in my direction. They're gonna go down. <laughs> 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 so that is an extra 10 points of bludgeoning damage, and. As a bonus action, oh I can attempt to push a target within five feet of me. It needs to make a strength save. <laughs> this is a pretty big guy. Let's DC see. 14. It'll probably make DC it, but this, this is for me. It did not make it. That is a 12. It gets <gasps> knocked back 10 feet away. Back up. Oh! <laughs> back up. And she's just going to kick it away. Straight like, <laughs> boom. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> It flies ten feet, just you know, like like when you like when you see a, a snake when you throw a snake. <laughs> How many snakes have you all thrown? <laughs> you know, you know, snake throwing. Yeah, come on, it's and a Wednesday. Yeah, and <laughs> anyone's Wednesday, you throw some snakes. You know, writhing and squiggling in the air because snakes are all, always have purchased with something. With right? arms. <laughs> So it's squirming and squiggling in the air, trying to find something until it lands in its pile of gold. You know, and there is no bottom or top to this creature, really, but it sort of, you know, <laughs> gets itself righted uh, as it looks at you now 10 feet away. Stay in your room. You're grounded. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I keep wanting to give you just, like, D6s. I that. appreciate it. That's fantastic. All right, let's go. Uh, Gloria, anything else? No, I'm going to die soon. I'll <laughs> <laughs> that. Yep. Silas, you have two dying friends. Yeah, I know. I've got a responsibility <laughs> to them instead of doing awesome, damaging you things can do to awesome the things big too. bad. I'm just reminding No, there's them. this thing called an action economy. <laughs> um, all right, so. Um, action so economy doesn't matter in dreams, Silas. <laughs> That's yeah. very true. I'm going to do six actions this time. Um, all right, so um, the, you see uh, McDuck uh, uh -huh. actually like floats over to where Neb mm -hmm. is and says, Denifash, on your feet. And, um, and this uh, healing word comes out over Neb <laughs> and is going to, uh, let's see, that is the four. I can never find the fours uh, in here. They're so weird. Um, 
All right, so that's going to do uh, seven hit points. <gasps> and you see... Did my wolf become a duck? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, you can talk now too. <laughs> all the time, too much. Um, and then, um, and then Silas is uh, hightailing it, so you see him fly mm -hmm. and uh, out over to where Al is. And I'm going to cure wounds there. Oh. <laughs> so then, uh, like. All right, all right, all right. I know it's just a dream, and you'll probably just wake back up when you've planned this dream heist with all your friends that I wasn't included in. And he just kind of boops on the forehead, and that is going to restore, uh, ooh, that was a better, uh, 11 hit points. 11 hit points. Yay. All right, the two of you <gasps> spring back to life. As you look around, there are ghosts attacking your friends. There's a giant, creepy snodworm uh, writhing up on top of the thing. Gloria is a glorious, bloody mess. Um, everyone is just, just fighting uh, with all that they've got. Uh, it is currently now, then, Farooza's turn, if you're done, Silas. Uh, the only other thing is Silas is going to start to yes. scan the area looking for stones. All right, I'll give you a perception check. Oh, nice. I'll give it to you. Wasn't expecting that. I know. <laughs> I'm nice. The stone People thing. think I'm mean, oh, but I'm yeah, nice. Jim right. Dev is a tough at fair here. <laughs> Um, so I rolled a, um, is that a one? <laughs> yeah. A one. You rolled a one. So I I'm, I, one. yeah, see, I'm nice. Um, yeah, you, you, oh, you see, there are so many purple things. Oh so my gosh. Many purple There's so many purple things. You know, like, I didn't actually know we were looking for something specifically purple, though, so thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> see, I'm nice. Uh, end of Silas's turn. Feruza, you are up. Um, okay, so. To both are still alive. Everything's still alive. Everything They're is still alive. Everything. Nothing is dead. Okay. <laughs> Except so what was undead. <laughs> okay. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna go after Sur Surla. Surla. Okay. She's ten feet away. She got pushed. You'd have to run up the mountain of gold. Okay, that I can do. Super, super cool. So that way, okay. So Bruz is realizing this is a dream. She can do anything. So she's feeling herself. She's gonna stand up with no socks, no shoes on, in her socks. And be like, this is my oh moment. socks and Crocs. And her voice is gonna have this thunderous appeal <gasps> because she's doing thaumaturgy. So yeah, totally transforming her voice, and you guys are gonna hear it echo throughout the cave. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> and she's going to lift up that axe and bring it right down on dude. But she's moved enough to get close enough. To yeah, you've ru you've run up. Yeah. Uh, now it's all slippery under your feet. Oh yeah, it's yes. slippery under your feet. So you you know for like every like three feet you run, you get like one and a half feet. But you're able to sort of clamber your way up to like lodge your axe. Give me yes. an attack. And the axe is like it's, it has its own personality. It's bigger now. It's yeah. stronger. It's coursing with lightning bolts, and it has two heads. Like yes. It's not the little axe you guys saw in the beginning. More scary. It's grown up. <laughs> <laughs> That your child? She's a mother too. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah mom, I'm gonna get my belt next time. Don't worry. Same <laughs> thing. <laughs> hey. Twenty-five. To hit. Twenty-five will hit. <laughs> Give me your damage. Seven. Mm. Fifteen. Fifteen damage. Yes. Yeah. Mm. All right. Um, this axe slams again in between, slicing through the scales of this creature. Um, as you pull it back out, again, purple blood lining the lips of your, your lips, the end of the blade of your axe. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's, I'm tired. It's the morning. <laughs> the axes have lips. Come on. <laughs> the DM is always right. <laughs> You're on the edge of your axe, there is purple blood as you pull it away. Um, words are hard. Yeah, they are. She's gonna do it again. Yes, roll. And bring it back over. Uh huh. And again, let's see if we can do it two in a row. Make it two for two. Ten. Ten to hit. Less is more. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this time it glances off the side of this, you know, scaly <laughs> armor along the edge. It glances off the side, pulling you around the side. And you do notice that, you know, with that first hit, the kind of of the lightning really kind of like electrical impulses 
through the uh, through the uh, bits of the axe. I'd like you to give me some lightning damage. Give me a D8 of lightning damage from nice. that first hit. Because I'm nice. Okay. <laughs> Seven. Seven. That is a good roll for that. Okay. Right? For a D8, a seven is a good roll. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So a little extra lightning damage as, as your axe hit, it also <laughs> kind of shocks this yeah. creature as it goes through. Anything else, Bruza? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Bruza? Oh, no, I'm good. That's All right. Good. Um, medieval ghost knight guy uh -huh. here. <laughs> uh, the, he was on you, Gloria, right? No, no, he went in her mouth. Oh no, no, that was the little <laughs> the pirate. That was the oh. pirate guy, <laughs> the the, the, the medieval knight oh, guy. Did yeah. I come after you? I'm, maybe I was even paying attention. I'm not even sure it was. Yeah, I think sure. I was. I mean, I, I'll take him. Go ahead. All right, he, uh, he's still there. I like short guys. <laughs> he's still there. <laughs> um, yeah, what is he gonna do? Um, yeah, he just like he's gonna reach deeper inside. There's something about your heart that is really seems like especially delicious. So <laughs> okay. he's gonna reach and pull in deeper. And kind of the, the 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 mouth plate of that armored head drops open as you see just like decomposing flesh underneath. Again, I've worked with words. Ghostly form, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Uh, reach through. That's not particularly well. That'd be a, that's hard to find. Uh, that is a fourteen to hit. Yeah. Hits. Yeah. With ah. your plus two. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yep. Nine necrotic. As it, again, sort of mouth reaches, it's almost trying to step inside your body, inside your skin. Uh, Al, you're up. Intended you're awake. Sleep. I, so I am stand up. I see just everything is on fire. Yes, it's, it's bad. bad. But there's ghosts. And I am like, I was asleep for like five minutes. And this is what happens. <laughs> and I am done with this. Um, and I, um, I'm reaching back into my power of fire. But yes. I also realize that I have the power of math. <gasps> Because of my work, I put on my, I put on my uh, Your sunglasses I use for uh, stoking the coals. Yes. It's so bright, and you see me reach back into my pocket. I pull out my Sudoku, and I whoop it into the air, and it starts to form an origami stove. <gasps> and um, all of the numbers sort of collate inside of the stove, and it gets red hot with fire. And I've created a small um, eldritch cannon. Yes, you <laughs> have. <laughs> A steam-powered, a steam-powered yes, little, little, a little stove man. It's got little legs. I uh, might call him Benji. I don't know. This uh, is uh, this is absolutely <laughs> he's like probably got a, a, a backstory. Beauty and Beast about. horror core right yes. here. <laughs> um, and he is going to uh, as a bonus action. So my action was to create this little yes. this little man, my son. Uh, and then uh, <laughs> my bonus action is to command him to destroy this stupid snake ring-shaped thing. We're caught in the ring. I don't know why. And uh, <laughs> that is going to be a, let's see. Okay, let's roll to hit. It's five on that. Um, that is a 19 plus five. That will hit. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's 2d8 force damage. So that's a five plus five is 10. 10. Damage. 10 force damage. Yeah, I did something. <laughs> um, this little cannon just what does it do? Does it does it it bangs into it? It bursts fire. The little cannon. So it looks like a little stove, like mm -hmm. a little grate for a belly. Mm -hmm. And it just its eyes go all white. Its belly opens up like a little hinge mm -hmm. door, and then a bunch of like fiery numbers <laughs> burst out and just slam into the snake over <laughs> and over again. Fantastic <laughs> phantom toll booth of death. Yeah. Um, so yeah, fiery numbers <laughs> fly out and start to sear. You can see them like like branding. The, the, the gold plated scales <laughs> of this creature um, as it's just like two, six, eight uh, all over its body. Uh, is that it, Al? Yeah. Yes, that is it. All right, that is it for Al. Okay, uh, Neb, you're awake. Ah, what is, and now my dog is gone and she's gonna stand up and uh, the first thing she's gonna do as a bonus action is slam her rock down into the ground and from it some more of this, um, purple goo nebula comes out and it's bigger and stronger as I'm gonna up cast it. <laughs> and so um, Robin is the only one that won't get it because you will, uh, but everybody else around me because I'm casting healing sparklers, uh, 2d6 of healing. 2d6. Yep. Uh, so I'll let Sparkles. you all know that. I, uh, yep. I think Robin might be there because Robin booped closer to you. She booped the ghost away. Oh, okay. So I think Robin's there. Well, then Robin, you also get because yeah. I not don't that big know a room. That you're possessed because I was dead. Oh, yeah. oh that's ahead. right. Robin is like possessed. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Robin yeah. is possessed. Um, I'm gonna, let me, can Robin take the? I think we 
We'll take it here. I don't think it's... You choose, right? You, oh, oh, it's anybody in the radius that you choose. So you are a creature you can see moving through the space. So no, I have no idea that you're possessed. Yeah, we don't yeah. know. So, yeah. so how much healing I think is that? Like? Oh, it's 2d6. Yay. Yeah. Um, you heal the ghosty. Well, yeah. you know, it's her body. It's her body. Um, and then now it's its body. She pulls the rock back up out of the, the gold, and that, that blue and purple mist continues up her arm and across her entire body as uh, as my action is I'm I'm not going to be looking like me anymore as I suddenly look like the nebula I'm named after uh, <gasps> oh. which is one of the wild things and then as part of that <laughs> she then is is going to look back at the snake and say you killed my puppy she's going to sling the rock at it which then turns into this arrow that looks like a, a shrieking meteor uh, and I just do that automatically and then it uh, takes a while. Oh, 13 to hit? A 13 will miss. Okay. Uh, all right. And the rock just comes back into her hand and she. Uh, Boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Robin look like she wants to kill us? <laughs> and that's the end of my turn. Because it is Robin's turn, who does indeed oh. look like she wants to kill you all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you healed us. <laughs> the flowers in her hat. <laughs> Bobby. That's down yeah, right on like seven. Really quick. I, I still okay. have, I can use my stuff, but I'm against yeah, everyone. Yeah, so, so um, yes, I mean, I can give it to you here. Um, yes, you are possessed. You lose control of your body. Um, the ghost now controls the body, but doesn't okay. deprive it of its awareness. Okay. It can't, the ghost itself cannot be targeted by attack or spell. Obviously, you can, except obviously undead stuff. It retains its intelligence, wisdom, charisma, um, but otherwise it uses the tar target statistics, does not gain access to your knowledge, class features, or proficiency. Okay. Oh. Um, mm. This is Robin, this possessed Robin, uh, does something that Robin would never do uh, and takes off one of her <laughs> priceless <gasps> yellow rain boots. Yes. <gasps> that is still intact. Why is it's everybody shout throwing shoes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why well, shoe action this one? Let's go. And she's going to <laughs> catapult it at Silas. Ooh, in the air. He might not ever get over this. <laughs> <laughs> just a dream, Just Silas. a dream. Just a bad dream. It's Best one of those dreams you wake up and you're like mad at somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My wife does that all the time. Uh, so it's a uh, dex, saving dex 14. It's a 18. 18. Okay. okay, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. You dodge the yellow boot. Take um. half damage or anything? Nope. Okay. Because if it misses, it misses. Anything else, Robin? Um... I think, what was that? That wasn't my action. Did you just throw your boot at me? <laughs> 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 Something's definitely wrong with Miss Robin. Uh, and uh, that yeah, that'll be, that'll be its turn. Fantastic, I can't really do else. we love it. Uh, Surla's turn. Not all of us um, love it. Surla's got Feruza right there. They're what? locked in combat. Um, this, it's oh. just oozing purple blood right and left. And you can see it, it's, you know, it's, it's having trouble moving, trying to keep up with you. But yet again, it is going to try to bite you as it rears back. Um, that is going to be a 26 to hit. I mean, I don't, I don't start gonna make additions, but she still has disadvantage. She does because she's attacking someone other than me. That's right. Keep reminding me. Oh. Ooh, that it's might, that is still a nineteen. Yeah. That hits. Okay. But you have, you, 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 you got a. But you have resistance. Resistance oh. to it. Yeah. That's, that's more important. That is thirteen piercing damage, but you have resistance to it, so seven. Um, and then the tail mm -hmm. is going to whip around, I think, Silas, <laughs> here in the air. Still has disadvantage. Boot, and and <laughs> oh, that's a 16. Missed. Missed. Woo! Woo! The tail Silas. flies through the air, <laughs> whipping past, missing you. <laughs> Just I was already on the lookout for boots. <laughs> that's right. You're dodging boots. You're dodging tails. Right and left, you're just dancing in the air, singing and dancing, um, with a little with a little green man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
That is the end of Surla's turn. Gloria. My heart can't take all this. <laughs> this <laughs> nasty foul mouth man who came up out of nowhere. <laughs> no, 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 not today. So we are swinging. That is a 24 to hit. To hit ghost eat guy? Yeah. You got it, you hit. That is seven points of bludgeoning damage. Woo! Second one. That is a 19 to hit. That'll hit. For 15 points of bludgeoning damage. You got it. And thank God, Robin has not cast another concentration, so haste Correct. is still up. Hey. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go for the last one. That is a 25 to hit. That'll hit. For These another dice. nine points of bludgeoning damage. You should you should be dungeon master. <laughs> no, yeah. I've I've never tried it before. I'd be curious. <laughs> and we'd all be dead. <laughs> <laughs> we can switch one day, Deborah. I got you. Okay. Um. All right. Um. Yeah. Oh, you Ooh. got him on the ropes. B bonus action. Yes. Push him away. Bonus action. Push. Don't touch me. What do I do? Strength. Strength saving throw. Oh, that's a natural twenty. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Stalker. He stays right there, <laughs> locked in with you. Um. Uh, uh, yeah, but he, uh, oh, but you've like, there are pieces of him that are like oozing off, again, like Ghostbusters, yeah. like it just sort of like peels off to one side, this ectoplasm mm. soul that is barely holding on. Um, all right, Gloria, anything else? I just kind of feel bad for him. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah. This mm. is oh. a sad life. Oh, he's just a sad little man. That's he's what I'm He's just a sad <laughs> little nightman. <laughs> yeah. Um, Silas, you're up. Silas is going to um, float down a little bit and try to angle himself to where so Gloria and Feruza are on Surla. So Surla is right now is, is with Feruza. Gloria is with uh, a ghosty. Yeah. Okay. Robin is a ghosty. Uh, Neb, remind me kind of where what you were at. at. Oh. You weren't you weren't in com. You're not in combat with anything, I right? I should not be next to anybody. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to not be next to anybody. If Agreed. I stood up and found myself next to anybody, you would, you would have very upset. gone to Excellent. the side. Yes. So really, Feruza is in is the one in locked okay. in combat with Excellent. Serla. So Silas is going to get to a place where this is a pretty long creature, yeah. right? So going to get to a place where he can angle uh, to keep uh, Feruza protected, mm -hmm. but then he is. Gotcha. Uh, you see that. Um, you see, oh, be gold, and uh, it, it comes in as a bonus action. It's going to attack Surla, and oh, ooh, that's a 20 on the die. I can hey! barely read it. But, so 27, so then that's going to be, um, let me double this. So almost there, and it would be, um, it'll end up being, uh, ooh, nice. Um, so that is uh, 24 points of force damage. Ooh. Um, and this time, McDuck connects. Yes! Um, and uh, he's just scrapping, of course. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and then... I see, I see like those, those boxers that do like that thing, and, the, and it just yeah. keeps... Just yeah. Brrr. yeah, that's definitely yeah, what yeah, Scourge yeah. does. Um, and so then Silas uh, floats, and you see his clothes with, with no apparent wind start to like waffle around him a little bit, and then you see his eye lights up, and he's like, why is it doing that? And then uh, at this point, he reaches out his hand and just a wave of pulse energy just rickets out. And basically what's going to happen is in a 30-foot cone, yes. um, it is going to need to take uh, make a constitution saving throw. Counterspell. <gasps> How dare. Wait, I'm on the bad guy's side. He is. Wait, he is. Is this I do. So, uh, okay, so with Robin that, so though, <laughs> is, is that going to require a roll? Um, I need to I see. I kind of think it just works, but yeah. double check. I'm, it's a reaction. I think so. it just works. I think it just stops you, as long as your spell is of a low enough. I think yeah. she had a job as a villain one time. Okay, got it. <laughs> All right, so nothing happens. Uh, do, do I know it's been counterspelled? Yes. You okay. would be aware that it didn't work and that it should All right. yeah. Got something for you next time, then. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dream. All right. I'm sorry. That's it for now. You maybe even you maybe even heard in that little little voice. Can't I spell? Can't I spell? <laughs> I'm sorry. Got it. We could could use some uh, peanut butter nectar now. <laughs> All right, um, Silas. Anything else? Um, actually, well, no, it has to be willing. Sorry, wanted to. Uh, do perform a little setup there, but it has to be willing. Um, so we're gonna uh, 
in that, where is uh, Robin positioned uh, at, at this point in time? I'm close to the entrance, the slide. I haven't moved, I don't think. Not really, okay. yeah. So with remaining movement, uh, Silas is going to position himself on the other side of the dragon where he's going to get Miss Robin in this next time. <laughs> okay, you got it. Um, Silas rolls up mad. Um, all right, uh, Feruza. Um, Feruza is ignoring all of you. <laughs> and she's standing up and she's like amazed with her act prowess. So she's sort of like swiping, like swiping around her head. She's standing behind you doing all these like fancy moves like out of nowhere. She takes it up over her head and she cracks it over her knee and it turns into two pieces and all of a sudden she has two axes in her hand. Oh! That's how that works. Yes. That's awesome. Mazel tov on the twins. <laughs> <laughs> She's like this, and she goes, nope, nope, with both. So okay, right go for it, please. Incredible. Oh my God, they can now be twins. That's right. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Okay, you, okay roll, roll the other attack. Roll both attacks just so we know if they both, attack. if they both hit or not. Okay, a seven. This is where we okay. are. Go so ahead. Okay. So the first, the first one, the first one hits. The second yes. one doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, but the first one is a natural twenty. Yeah. Um, you're gonna roll your damage, but I want you to describe. You're gonna do something like physical with this, right? Like you're, you said you're dancing, you're doing this thing. Like mm -hmm. yeah, I, yeah, I mean, she has two gonna... axes and have a boomerang yeah. and come right back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so go I ahead. just made that up, but that's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. I'm cool okay. with it. Um, so yeah, so go ahead, roll your damage for mm -hmm. that first attack, that first natural twenty. Yeah, it's gonna be that critical hit. An eight. Uh, an eight for the yeah. first, for that total, for your double damage? Double damage? Oh, shoot. No, sorry. That's 16. So 16. <laughs> She's like, wow, you rolled low. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's canon for me, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, because with that hit. <gasps> Which one? The first axe or the second? The first axe, right? I think the first one that actually yeah. did make contact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're talking about it. Okay. Um, you, you know, you ride up alongside it, swing one leg over so that you can kind of stand above this creature as that axe, first one comes down, lodging itself hard into the center of this being. The second one, <laughs> exactly, the second axe goes, goes wide of the thing, but that's because <laughs> as you have pinned it, <laughs> come at me! You pinned it with that first axe, and the front of it is slithering this way, and the back of it is slithering this way, and you're trying to hit the other side with the other axe, but you miss. However, that slithering starts to slow and twitch. I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> I knew something was coming. Yeah, truly. I am so happy we're playing in person. I'm so happy we're playing in person. Twitches until the twitching slows, and you can feel the heartbeat beneath your your axe begin to slow as it comes to a dead okay, stop. Okay, Bruza looks like a wild one at this point. Yes, you guys are going to be like scared of her because purple people. blood. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's dead, everyone. I think we're fine. Oh, Bruza, that was awesome. <laughs> Woo. We've still got another problem here. Yes. And Silas is pointing at Robin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Feruza, anything else, Feruza? Something's wrong with her. No, but the, maybe, what do you mean? This, she only has one Something's boot on? on. <laughs> yeah, that's she it. she throw her boot at you? <laughs> Miss Robin, if you're in there anywhere, I want you to look at me. Have you ever worked for an exorcist ever <laughs> in your life? Would be very helpful. <laughs> I also, I really do want to know the answer. Have you ever actually worked for an exorcist? All right. Medieval knight ghost cry goes first here. He's entangled in with Gloria down there as he, you know, entangled, yes. Uh, as he looks over and sees, uh, you know, the, the creature he was sort of brought here to guard come to a, a, a still, um, a stillness, he sort of, the, the, again, the, the, the faceless head of metal sort of turns back towards you. He stands up straight and withdraws his hand, turning. He walks into the coins, disappearing, dropping beneath the coins. 
I didn't um, get your number. <laughs> strong. Take a girl to dinner. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying. Like, like, put some, put some makeup on. You I don't want no scrubs. Sure, it's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, well. Um, Al, yeah. what would you like to do? Uh, Robin is still standing by the exit to this this uh, cave, going. <laughs> <laughs> and and Robin. <laughs> And it's clear Robin has attacked one of us and is possessed. Yes. None of us have the ability to exercise the something. Someone exercise? <laughs> <laughs> that one, maybe. I can't. I don't know what the word is. Well, you know what? It's, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> I exercise <laughs> all the time. Um, I'm going to, I just look at the team and I'm like, do I, do I just try to hit, smack her around? To <laughs> smack the ghost out of her? Or are we just going to, or are we going to give it a good talk? What does that, what does that mean? Yep. What does that mean? You, you beat on the back of your hand. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> we were raised differently. We were. That's why I was asking you a question. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, never mind. Y'all handle this one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want this to go on the internet, please. <laughs> uh, sorry. I, um, I, I just walked over to Robin. <laughs> And I try the, try the talking with, get, move out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your boss. Not right now. We're not on the train. We've established this. I grab Robin by the shoulder, and I just try to, like, shake her and go, can, can the ghost just get out of you, please? And I just kind of just try to shake the ghost out of her. With like a persuasion? Hand. Yeah, I guess. Right, great. Okay. Let's do a persuasion. Oh. Persuasion. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, that was my first good, uh, second good roll of the day. You, uh, you could also do intimidation depending on how you want to do this. It was a, a 17? It was a 17? Oh. Yeah. Persuasion? Okay, yeah. You hold her by both your <laughs> shoulders. <laughs> Get out of her. <laughs> um, as it happens, you see, you see a little bit of like the ghosty face kind of move forward through Robin's and goes, mm, you're too weak. You instead? <laughs> Uh, no, no, you don't understand. Um, your boss is gone, so you are a freelance agent. Do whatever. You look at all this gold. It's for you, bud. This is yours. We can hunt this forever. Never do, okay. <laughs> Why is it doing this? <laughs> That's a natural <laughs> one. <laughs> yes. It's all happening. Yes. Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> um, it's little ghosty face lights up in front of Robin's. It's like dual faces here. It goes, gold for me? Ah! And it chooses to fly out of Robin's mouth. Uh, Robin oh sort of collapses down as it I need you to know, you sound like Toad. I was going to say, it's Toad <laughs> from the Mario. Oh, <laughs> gold! gold. <laughs> And you just see him doing zoomies up and down and around <laughs> on the gold. He's so excited. Um, and like little, you know, like um, the, the big medieval knight guy just like pops in. <laughs> 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 and, and then somewhere else, okay, like, like, uh, like whack-a-mole. <laughs> The one that came out of Robin's mouth, yes. though, you see Scrooge McDuck chasing yes. and <laughs> trying to wail on them. No, it's me, gold, and, and is uh, very, still very upset with this entity. It's I just okay. realized the, he's yeah, got money gold, now. The ghost will try to give it some smacks and things like that as they're running around. Hmm. Uh, they are distracted. What would you like to do? Don't ask me. Where's my boot? <laughs> Silas floats it over. Oh, thank you, Silas. Can you try? You have to dump a couple pieces of gold out of it. Boot at me again, maybe. Uh, we need to find the thing. <laughs> we all look for the purple stone. Everyone purple stone. stone. Remember? Okay, purple okay stone. we're gonna do this. What is everybody's uh, wisdom uh, 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 bonus? Oh, they gonna lie? No. Bonus <laughs> one. <laughs> one. Minus Four. one. Minus one. Uh, Four. 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 Yeah. Four. Plus zero. Not to be outdone. Minus one. Minus one. <laughs> plus two. Plus two. What'd you get? All right. So we've got, that is a plus six with all of you looking together, some of you being helpful, some of you not being helpful. Okay. <laughs> Look, um, he's got money now. So he, it he worse. might not be wise, <laughs> but Silas is also going to telekinetically just start like 
floating things up in the okay. air to Helping see. Okay, helping with that, sure, like, sure, sure. Just, like all, all right. over the place, he's floating coins up Someone there. Someone roll, and whoever wants to actually do the check is gonna roll an advantaged uh, um, perception check. Not it. Gloria. Plus six. Yeah, Gloria. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You roll the best. Gloria, you're rolling good. Fire. Roll, Gloria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. Sure. Advantaged perception we're, plus we're six. We're kind to our guests. That is a nine, no, that's a 21. Yeah. Woo! As Silas is floating, there's coins just in the air. There's ghosts and leprechauns running around. Oh my God. As you all kind of start looking around together, and as you kind of go, not here, not here, you've like done like a zone defense. Gloria, you zero in on the, this last little spot as you're digging through, and you see something that is not glittery, not gold. It is not a jewel. It is just a purple stone. It is about the size of an eye. <laughs> 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 oh! oh. <laughs> I'm gonna give this to Neb because I'm not touching that statue. <laughs> <laughs> you pass it, it over to Neb. Does it taste like bone? Lick it. Don't stop, stop licking things. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I only did it the. One. That's it. Only takes once. Don't do it twice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, this this looks like it. We gotta get back to the beach. Yes. Let's get back. Okay. Yeah. Quickly. Just backtracking, you're following your tracks back? 100%. Fantastic. Uh, yes. the, the, the zoomy parade that's <laughs> happening on the gold, you leave that behind. You all climb your way back up through the dirt tube, mm -hmm. getting up back to the top. Polly goes, you did it. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, Polly. Got a little worried <laughs> about you there. Got that far, yeah. um, Polly flies down. You can see Polly's flying down towards where that, that original statue, that stone statue is buried down on the atoll. As you make your way back through the jungle following Gloria's perfect sense of direction um, and, and, and avoiding all flower pits, um, you make it back down to that statue at the edge. Uh, the day is beginning to wane. This is a beautiful sort of sunset out on the horizon of the water. Do we have to go right now? Absolutely. We can just watch the sunset. Silas, and then are you lonely? Go. Are you lonely, Silas? <laughs> I mean, not not anymore. Aww. Silas, you always have a space on my train. Aww. You can get a free drink ticket, too. <gasps> Just the one. <laughs> I was going to say, let's put the, the eye back in, but now this is such a touching moment, I do kind of want to stay. Give me that rock. I'm getting <laughs> <laughs> in there right now. Okay, before... You know what? You're right. Things have been bad and this good. This panel's and bad over. And good and bad and good, and I'll shove the rock into All the right. spot. All right. You, you lie down on your belly and, and tip that stone into the third eye spot. As you do, the inside of this lagoon pulses with a purple light. You all feel the ground kind of rumble and shift underneath your feet as your eyes kind of go back and your, uh, uh, your eyes shut, and uh, you, all you see is sort of darkness. And you begin to kind of twist and shake a little bit as well, you're all just sitting on the train listening to Augie finish her story. Uh, uh, Al, you open your eyes. There's, there's your partner, Al, up at the front driving along. It's warm. Uh, Gloria, you're in your bed. Oh, so you see I fell asleep driving the train? No, 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 no. <laughs> Al's driving the train. Oh, okay. Gloria, Gloria was, on, was off, off shift, so you were just, you know, getting ready for, for bed in your own compartment. Uh, you all kind of wake up and, oh, boy, you know, that was just... Uh, a lovely little daydream, so vivid, huh? Mm. Um, and, and you were there, and you were there, and you were wow. there. And it's already beginning to fade from your memory. So there you go. That's this. Yeah. Thank you all very much for joining us for Children of Verite. Um, and please remember, as always, that life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale. Thank you all for being here. Good night. That's good. And thank you to our wonderful guests for saving our bacon. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. We appreciate you. Oh my God, that was fun. <laughs>